ha, objection, ha, 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 hold it, get it, get it, it's, it's what they say in this game, it's really funny, it's kind of the joke, um, funny, <laughs> yeah, let's go. Hello, all. Um, my throat has recovered. Uh, that sounds a little weird without context, but um, my throat was a little fucked up from the last time I did uh, <coughs> the stream. <laughs> so I can do voice acting again. In the worst way possible. Damn, you sucking dick without me? Sorry. I got a little sloppy gloppy with Edgeworth, you know? <laughs> Just a little sloppy gloppy, you know? I have, uh, I just finished my dinner. Uh, I have a drink next to me. And we're going to continue. <coughs> my God, what's going on? <coughs> With some air, air. Attorney. Some air. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> How are we feeling today, everyone? Also, thank you for the hundred biddies. Thank you for all of the resubs. It seems like my browser source is kind of like dying. There we go. Yo! Broda, thank you so much for the three months. Uh, we have Flair coming in with the 46 months. Uh, we have Jaxus with the 54. Scout with the 8. And Mix Whirl, who's gifting a sub to Snack Size. Thank you guys so much. The first stream is on YouTube yet? No, I'm sorry, but it is on Twitch, so you can watch it. I hope you guys are so excited, just like I am excited. I fucking love this game, dude. Moon Raji! Moon Raj! Sorry, thank you so much for the nine months. Anniversary for the nine, ball nine ball nine ball? Well, there's nothing much we can do. Time to continue. Episode three. The Turnabout Samurai? God, you have disgraced me for the last time, Samurai! The pale moon in the sky cries for your blood! Oh, God. Snack size, thank you for also gifting a sub. The moon? No, it is you who should gaze upon the moon! For it will be the last moon you ever see! See you in hell! Oh god. The warriors were screaming strike in the moonlight. What has fallen, but who? Only the moon it's knows. Attorney, Don't miss same. next week's exciting episode! The Dark Messenger returns. Alright. Uh yo! Thank you so much for all of the subs. Draconic chimney sweep. Uh, mix whirl with the five, five months. Uh, El Sponge with the 16 months. And, uh, that's pretty much, yeah, let's go. Cool. Let's continue going. Um. <laughs> I keep playing your favorite games, eh? It's awesome, dude. Running Mad, thank you so I much for the 10 months. Hangers. Oh, me too. That rocked! See you in hell, evil magistrate! Whoa, stop waving that broom around! Oh, Nick, I didn't know you were here! Of course I'm here! What was that surreal show you were watching? What? Nick, you mean you don't know the Steel Samurai? Awesome. So we're making so much for the 15 months. He's only the most popular TV hero for young people! Young? Like, how young? Um, 10 years old? Then what the heck are you doing getting all excited? 
Hey, I'm only 17. Sorry, I had a scratch underneath my arm. Ow. That's 17. See, I'm a teen, not like you, Nick. Hey, don't talk to me like I'm your grandpa or something. I'm only 24. My he's... He's younger! He's... Actually, he's my age. Then watch it with me. He's really cool, and it's really popular. When they asked grade school kids what they wanted to be, Steel Samurai was number one. I really worry about kids these days. Gramps. Well, the Steel Samurai is over. I guess it's time to close up the office. I guess. Wish we had some clients. A month has passed since my trial. Mia's murder was the talk of the town for some time, but no one paid any attention to the Wright and Co. law offices. How am I going to pay the rent this month? Oh, no. It'll be okay. I'm sure some big client is just around the corner. Hmm. Oh. Phoenix Wright's bedroom? Oh, this is, this is early. Phoenix Wright. Uh, hello, this is Phoenix. N N Nick! Maya, what? It's still early. It's the Steel Samurai! The Steel Samurai got arrested! Uh, you mean the guy on that show? Yes! They're saying that the Steel Samurai killed a villain! Um... Isn't that what he's supposed to do? Yeah, on TV! Yeah, on TV. No, I mean he actually did it in real life! He skewered a villain with a samurai spear! I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Just come to the office, quick, please, Nick! <coughs> Maya's here, watching television. Now for the morning news! The actor, Will Powers, was arrested yesterday. Powers plays a lead role in the popular kids show, The Steel Samurai Warrior of Neo Old Tokyo. He was arrested on suspicion of murder. The victim was Jack Hammer, who plays the villain known as the Evil Magistrate. His body was found still inside the Evil Magistrate costume. The samurai spear was also found stuck through the body. Police believe this was the murder weapon and are investigating further. This has to be a joke. No, no, no! It's a nightmare! The Steel Samurai is over! The world is over! Yes, right in co law offices. What? Nick! I. It's the Steel Samurai! What? Yes, yes, of course. We'll be right there. <gasps> Let's go, Nick! Go? Go where? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> this is the meme! <laughs> this is the meme! <laughs> My ass is like, Let's fucking go! <laughs> and Phoenix is like, Go where? <laughs> Literally the meme. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, let's go. Go where? White gold. Thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the emotes. They have the steel samurai down in detention. So what? So I've decided this will be our first case. All right. Get out of the way. My favorite pimp, my husband, wanting it so much lately, it looks a little swollen. She's either trying to make it grow or she's perfecting her way her water torture technique. It's a nice day outside. The hotel across the way is always full these days. This is the bellboy happily cleaning the room. Awesome. That Mia liked. Then I realized that the poster doesn't actually say the title of the movie. <laughs> Mia's desk. Actually, it's my desk now. Sitting here always makes me feel like a professional. Oh, great. Can't watch a movie. Well, you can just ask someone. There's a horrendous amount of legal books here. Scary as still is the thought that I have to read all of these now. <laughs> My god, Nick. What the- <laughs> Well, what should we do? What should we do? How can you just sit there like that? 
We have to get down to the detention center and meet the Steel Samurai! Does she want to investigate this case or just do sightseeing, I wonder? My money's in sightseeing. We don't have enough information to make a case yet. J just admit it. You don't have a clue what happened. No, we just don't have enough information. Yep. Awesome. Here, I'm gonna present you my lawyer's office. My lawyer's badge. What about this? <laughs> you like showing that off, don't you, Nick? My poor, poor ego. <laughs> Good job. Awesome. Whoa! What's wrong, Maya? It's him. In the flesh. Um, is that guy really him? What do you mean, that guy? Of course it's him. This game is a meme and I love it. Will Powers. Our client. That's him. Um, maybe I shouldn't be saying this? But he definitely did it. Murder. At least once. Maybe twice. Whoa, 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 whoa! What are you saying? Um... Y yes Someone wrong? No, no. This is getting off to a great start. I know, I know. You're disappointed, aren't you? D disappointed Oh, no, oh, no. No, it's okay. This is the real me. I got the part of the Steel Samurai with a mask. I decided I would never show my face in public until the job was over. And it's the kids, you know. I don't want to wreck their dreams. Ow. That is not what I pressed. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I guess it didn't matter. So much for dreams. I wonder what they think of the Steel Samurai now. <laughs> Hold on. He looks like a gentle giant. Nick. What? He's a good guy. I mean, he's good. Yeah. He didn't do it. Thank you, Maya. <laughs> hey, dude. This guy monitors is the visitor's room. He seems frozen off. Will's powers. Smile for the camera. It's always the same thing, Nick. Say something else. Hey, I got a percent. <laughs> um, here. I, I see. <laughs> Let me guess. This guy wasn't the top student in improv class. What the fuck? What the fuck? Maybe you could start by telling us what happened. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. It seems like it was only yesterday, actually. It was only yesterday. The cast had come down to Global Studios for a run-through. We went through a few action sequences at 10 that morning. It was a rehearsal schedule for 5 in the afternoon. But when 5 came around and the staff gathered at the studio, the evil magistrate was found lying in a crumpled heap near the set. Oh! They took off his mask. And discovered that it was Jack Hammer. Dead. Fee, fix, Fio, fix it for the sum. He had been expertly skewered with the samurai spear. The samurai spear? Yes! It's a long spear that I, the steel samurai, used as a weapon. Maybe you can explain to me what the steel samurai is. Nick! How could you say such a thing? I, I, I'm sorry. Sir, I apologize for my partner. He's new to this and a bit out of touch with the world! Hey, who's who's new to this? No, it's alright, really. The Steel Samurai is the lead character in a popular kids show. He walks the streets of Neo-Old Tokyo, fighting battle after battle against the evil magistrate and his minions. Of course, he never really defeats the evil magistrate. Although, I guess he did defeat him this time. <laughs> I, I see. Neo Old Tokyo? Who comes up with these names? Now, where were you on the day of the murder? Well, that morning I came to the studio at 9. We worked through some action scenes until noon. 
Rehearsal was to begin at 5, but I was a little tired. And it was really hot. So after lunch, I took a nap in my dressing room. When I woke up, it was after 5. I was late for the rehearsal. I hurried to the studio and found everyone looking shocked. They arrested me on the spot and brought me here. So was sleeping the entire afternoon of the murder? Some action hero. What will the kids think? <laughs> I think I should probably check out the scene of the murder. Right, Global Studios. I'll draw you a map. Wow, Nick, let's go. I'm willing to bet 10 bucks she asked for autographs. <laughs> All right, God, I just stopped pressing that button. Um. All right, time to go to the studio. Let's go. Wow! So this is where they make the Steel Samurai show! Awesome! Aren't you excited? Hey, you there. You want in, you gotta go through me. Uh, oh, s sorry. But we're um, lawyers. Oh, yeah? Well, that's great. I'm security. <laughs> and it's my job to make sure that gawkers like you stay out. G gawkers? Gawkers, sightseers, tourists. I know the type. You heard about the incident, came to snoop around. Youths today, some fig hold for wasting your time. Don't have any time to be doing it all. Like that work like the rest of us. Maybe I should become a lawyer too. Sounds like I'll get life for Easton. I'll be right around for days. Please, I was here. What the fuck, help me? What is going on? Stop talking. <laughs> um, Nick? Would I grow up to be like her? Please say no. I don't know. It's possible. Hey! Listen, when you're being spoken to use today! Let's see. What's over here? The computer that runs the studio security cameras. Hey! No ducking! I'm gonna regret this voice, aren't I? I'm, I'm gonna regret using this voice, aren't I? It's gonna suck real hard. Okay! <laughs> Better fucking uh, accept my fate, I guess. Hold on. <clears throat> An overhead map of the studios. Right from here is the employee area. To the left are the actual film studios. Looks like a studio van. They probably use it to carry around film equipment. What about this tree? I really want to know something about the tree. The main entrance to the studio. There was a big scene here yesterday with onlookers pressing against the gate. Okay. Nothing else. Nothing else. All right, let's talk to her. <clears throat> so, what do you do here at the studios? At Global Studios, we make children's dreams come true. In fact, in my younger days, no, you were a star? Only a little twinkle between the stars here, I'm afraid, dearie. Well, wow. This place has really gone downhill, you know. About ten years ago, now that was a studio of dreams. Hammer was a big star back then, too. He was... Hammer? The victim, dummy. The evil magistrate. He's been reduced to playing the villain now. Not exactly the best material to work with. Making sure to stay hydrated while making this voice. Can you tell me about Mr. Will Powers? He's not a bad kid, but don't be fooled by his mask. You wouldn't want him on, on the silver screen without it, believe me. The little old ladies watching would lose their lunch. That's probably why he thought that the Seal Samurai was his big chance. No one thought he was capable of doing what he did to poor Jack Hammer. We don't know for certain that Will Powers is guilty. Powers, of course he's guilty! How do I know? I know everything that's my job! I already forgot what voice I gave him. I... <laughs> what kind of person was Jack Hammer? What kind of person? Oh, if you only knew! Jack Hammer would live on in many hearts as the ultimate action hero! 
He was simply dashing the Dynamite Samurai series. Should I have heard of that? But there was an accident during filming five years ago. He got an unlucky break after that, reduced to playing the villain on a children's program. What's more, I heard they were paying him peanuts. It's enough to make him cry. I shouldn't shout today is your birthday. Happy birthday! <laughs> Why are you so certain Mr. Powers is the killer? I was standing right here yesterday, I was. I was here from 1 in the afternoon to 5 when they found the body. Then the studio where the murder took place is to the left here. So if you want to go to the studio, you have to pass by me! Only one person went by here between 1 and 2.30 when the murder took place. And the person was Mr. Powers. Yes! I saw him! But Mr. Powers says he was sleeping in his dressing room. Oh, I'm sure he would say that. He's no fool. Ugh. But he was the only one that walked by. He's the killer. You can bet your biscuits on it. Isn't it about time for you to be heating heading home? There's nothing to see here. Move along. Um, actually, we're here at Mr. Powers' request. Eh, I thought you were suspicious looking. Show me a letter of request. And maybe I'll just let you in. This lady here thinks she owes this place, obviously. Okay, what if I present you this? What's that? You're giving that to me? Absolutely not. No, I wanted to flaunt that and be like, hey, I'm an attorney. I need to go in here. Let me in. Thank you. <laughs> All right. We can't be there. Let's go to the detention center because... Hello. How was this? How was the studio? They all think I did it, don't they? No, not at all. Isn't that right, Nick? Right, not at all. At worst, you're a suspect. <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting really, you're getting really warm. I need to turn on the fan. Bullets over here. <clears throat> Mr. Paris, you aren't hiding anything from me, are you? W what? No, I'd never do that. Earlier, you said that you were sleeping in your dressing room after lunch. Uh, yeah, like a baby. But the security lady says she saw you that day. She saw says she saw you heading towards the scene of the crime. W what? That's not possible. I I really don't know what to say. I was sleeping, I promise! Mr. Powers, if you want me to help you, you have to tell me the truth. I'm new to this uh, lawyer business and I need every advantage I can get. I, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I swear to you on my mama's grave, I was sleeping. Maybe the security lady even thought she saw me? What did she see? He doesn't seem to be lying. Um, about the security guard at the main gate to the studio. Uh oh the security lady! She's terrible! She called me suspicious looking! Y yeah actually she said the same thing to me before. Take off that mask for her words, I believe. She sucks up to all the big wigs, uh, big wigs at the studio. But let her see you stumble once and she'll never lay up on you. Ugh, she's got some nerves. Do you think you could write up a letter formally requesting my representation? Uh, of c course! Yay! I just hope this will get me past that security lady. Alright, see you later, buddy. Here you go, hag. Ma'am, have a look at this. It's a letter of request from Mr. Powers. Mm -hmm. Yes, I recognize the bold childish scrawl. Powers request given to the security lady. To think you would entrust his fate to you for such unreliable appearance. Really? Really? Anyway, you may pass. I only left from here towards the studio. Not going to the right. That's the employee area. Don't want a lot inside, pal. For my instructions. The good detective told me himself. Hey, hey, Nick. Huh? There were maps in the security guard station. Hey, not bad. Those are 50 cents a piece, thank you. Well, time to go, Nick. 50 cents! Bye, ma'am. Haha. <laughs> oh, God. What the fuck is this?
this looks fucking terrifying. Hey, are you that murderer from the other day? Ah, it's a confused detective. Hey, pal, you know Prosecutor Edward is all upset, and it's your fault. Yes, I'm snip. What the fuck is that noise? Oh, it's birds. I saw him sipping tea and staring gloomily out the window. Um, so? Hey! If he's depressed, it's all your fault for doing sloppy detective work. Um, detective? I think you hurt his feelings. Oh no, I, I'm sorry. Well, I think his feelings are easily hurt. You're right, pal. It's all my fault. I can blame other people I want, but I know the truth in my heart. Hey, hey, don't take it so hard. There's always the next case. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Hey, what exactly are you two doing here? Um, well, we're on the skis too, pal. Huh? Hey, you can't just go around saying pal like that. That's my endearing character trait. <laughs> Okay, come shoot. <laughs> I'd say he's a character, all right. What the fuck? A studio mascot. I guess it's a monkey of some kind. But what kind of monkey has a nose like that? He's holding a sign in his hand. Right to the studio one, left to studio two. What's up with that thing? It looks kind of busted. Oh, the wind was pretty strong yesterday and the head broke off. I took that tree down with a two. A fucking... The a wind broke a statue? What? There's a big welcome sign above the path. Oh, the tree broke. I'm a fucking stupid. I'm the best detective ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently the studios fall on tough times. They started letting people in on days they aren't filming. They make a bit of extra money by charging for admission. Huh, you sure know a lot about this place, detective. You know, you could always quit being a detective and work here. Yeah, and what perfect timing with the studio mascot down for the count. Huh, just what's that supposed to mean, pal? I'm a little bushed. Maybe I'll take a short rest here. <laughs> Good idea, pal. Detective, aren't you on the case? Oh, uh, well, yeah, but... Hey, those detectives get tired of standing around too, pal. Ooh. Detective Gumshear, what's down the path to the left? It looks like a tree fell down over the path. Oh, yeah, that was uh, kind of dangerous. You should stay out, pal. There's nothing down there anyway. That's where Studio 2 used to be, they tell me. They didn't use it now, though. Hmm. What else do we have before I... Ooh. Hey, there's a camera here. That's the security camera. It takes photos of people going to the studio. All you have to do is look at the data and you can see who went where. There's a number plate on the camera. ST1307. It must be the camera ID number. 317. Okay, this is very important. Hold on. I'm going to open up my notepad. What was it? I'm going to open up my notepad because it's important. STI 307. Let's go. The yeah, entrance is Studio One. This is the studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. Let's go in and check it out, Nick. Hey, it's locked. Looks like you need a card key to get in. It makes sense that they would want to keep the non-employees out. So, how's your investigating going, Detective? Well, it's... Hey, I can't tell you that, pal. Nick, maybe you need to be a little more indirect with your questions. Right, so, Detective, mind if I take a look at what you got? What I got? The autopsy report, the latest version, if you please. <sighs> right, right. Sorry about what happened last time, pal. Time of the... F uh, please don't up... Don't up... Don't... Edgeworth, if you update the autopsy report one more time, I'm going to send you into a shredder. Why was Mr. Powers arrested? Simple, pal. The murder took place right over there in Studio One. 
Now, the victim entered Studio 1 at a proc ox a pub rock, 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 1 p.m. At that time, there was no one other than the, than the victim in the studio. According to the autopsy report, the time of death was 2.30 p.m. Only one person went to the studio between 1 and 2.30. And that person was none other than Will Powers. No one else, pal. I think I'm lying ass security late at the main gate. Nick, if that's true, anyone would think that Powers did it with that kind of evidence. Thanks for cheering me up. About the security lady. Oh, that sweet old lady. What a charmer. Huh? Uh, are we talking about the same person? When I showed her my badge, she gave me a donut and some coffee. Remember what Power said? She's a sucker for authority. She even gave me a piece of valuable evidence. What? What kind of evidence? Well, that uh, photo. The photo of the steel samurai heading towards the scene of the crime. What? Who took that? See the grammar up on that gate, pal? The gate? You mean the one with the welcome sign? Yeah. Whenever someone walks by, the camera automatically snaps a photo of them. Oh no! Nick, he has evidence! We're finished! Funny, for someone with hard proof, he doesn't look too happy. What's wrong, pal? He's seeped down. Now time flies. Yo, thanks so much for the uh, 11 months. Don't look so happy when you say that. <laughs> um, we'd like to ask the employees here some questions. Sure thing, pal. Go wherever you like. Of course. You're not gonna find any clues I haven't already found. <laughs> I'm glad someone around here seems to be enjoying themselves. Nick, let's go. We got a free pass to the place. Those are chance to check things out. Nice. Well, I mean... Here. Okay, that's... Okay. Um, detective, any ideas about this? Look. Okay, never mind. Alright. Well, but we can't do anything. This is closed. We can't... Hmm, weird. Hey, hey, do you may have to want me to voice someone to save... Oh, yeah, sure, Viz, I would love to. Hold on, let me, let me call you. I would love to do this with you. Anybody you can take me... Can, can take off my poor... Poor voice. You want to voice? <laughs> I'm calling you, Viz. <sighs> Wait! <laughs> You're like, hey, Shin, can I voice some? I call you. Wait, I'm not ready yet. <laughs> Hold on. While you get ready, I'm gonna quickly get more of my dinner. Uh, Chrono Ange, thank you so much for the sub. Dinner. Hi, guys. Wait, why is not I hearing anything? Hold on. What? Reset. Hello? Liz? Oh, there we go. Hello? Oh. Hi, can I you can hear things. Yeah, you can finally hear things? Yeah. I, I did go AFK for a moment, so that's probably why you didn't hear me. I still have a sore throat, but that's okay. That's Are you okay. sure you want to do this? <laughs> Are you going to be okay? <laughs> Let's go, let's do it. Okay. Dibs old back. <laughs> okay, you can have her. Nick, look! That security lady is in the guard station stuffing her face with donuts. I guess Fuck I'll yes. I guess I'll cough like they're donuts. <laughs> oh, this is so good. <laughs> <laughs> can you see it? You can see it, yeah. Yes. Yeah, and they're soft enough she doesn't need teeth to chew them. Hey, you! 
Well, are you satisfied Powers is guilty yet? <laughs> she had to make my life harder by giving that photo to Detective Gumshoe! Hmm. Why didn't you tell us about the security photo, ma'am? Hmm? Oh, that? I just thought it would be more thrilling to talk with the detective himself. These things are important, you know. Are they? Oh, just to the left from here is the gate with the camera that took the photo. It's my job to check the photos every day, you see. Mm-hmm, okay. This guard station is in a central position. <laughs> no matter where you go here, you pass by my station first. You want more grime? Hold on. Now poor Hammer! He went to the studio just before one o'clock! Objection. The murder happened right around 2.30, see? The only one I see go through here between 1 and 2.30 was Powers himself. The security camera got a good look at him too. If he's not the one... If he's not the one what did it, I don't know who is. Maybe it was you? <laughs> good one, Sonny! <laughs> she thinks I was joking. <laughs> was the victim Mr. Hammer, popular actor? Oh, he was the biggest star in the studio. Was? Past tense? Oh yes, he was great as the bearded samurai. That too, yes. He showed the brightest back in the day. Making a star like him play the evil magistrate. It is a disgrace, I tell you. Hammer took it pretty hard, and who can blame him? About the security camera. Oh yes, that camera. Why would you re why would you request a random Voxer fact right now? All right, if Voxer was in the Ace Attorney of Universe, he would be a terrible lawyer. <laughs> okay, but would he be a defense attorney or a prosecutor? <laughs> prosecutor. Good. Oh my God, another one. <laughs> oh my God. Um. 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 <laughs> Oh god. No! No 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 stop! Stop you? the box again! <laughs> no! No, uh, we're gonna we're gonna hold these. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give them back at the end of the stream because I'd rather <laughs> play the game. Okay, go on, go on, go on. It's automatic. It can tell when someone walks through the gate, see? Oh fuck, I didn't mean to press that. Whoops. Then it snaps a photo. Apparently, records the time when it takes a picture, too. Oh, that's convenient. But I don't bother myself with those details. I wonder if the, the fucking camera time is wrong. I just view all the photos of the computer over at the security guard station. It's a, ma it's a Mac. <laughs> I check them every day before going home, I do. I also have Fortnite downloaded on it. <laughs> oh shit, you have games on your computer?! I have games on my computer, Sonny! <laughs> I'm gonna get the number one victory royale! <laughs> oh my god, you get it, Grandma! <gasps> Nick! This is where they do all the behind-the-scenes stuff! Hey, look! There's Powell's dressing room! No one's here this soon after this murder, I guess. Let's take a look around! Mm, wow, what is that? There's a sign by the dressing room door. Well, Powers, it must be neat to be the star and have your own room like this. A window into the dressing room. Sign. Oh, it's, it's a pretty <laughs> shitty sign, yeah. It's just fucking taped. The glass is frosted, so I can't see inside. The door to the dressing room. It's not locked. Hey, Nick, let's take a look inside. <clears throat> oh, my God. Maybe you can find something as a souvenir? What do you mean, find? You never know, there might be something like the samurai spear. We don't need a spear! And that's a murder weapon for crying out loud. Let's see. Cola, candy, chips, gum, inside the trash can? Huh, it's so normal. I was expecting some cool themed snacks or something, popcorn at least. Well, wait, look! Samurai soda! Nick, try this! Ladies first. 
No, I will not try the samurai soda. The remains of yesterday's lunch are scattered around. Everyone is probably too shocked to clean up. There's a T-bone on one of the plates, minus the steak! Mmm, T-bone steak. That would have hit the spot. Yo, Bakuha, thanks so much for the two Maya months. and has her priorities straight. Miss Straight Secure, thanks so much for the 23 months. You just had a burger. Yeah, but I have a second stomach just for steaks. What? <laughs> what? Is she a cow? Or half a cow? <laughs> <laughs> that must be the storage room. That's where they keep all the film equipment. Wow, Nick! You know a lot about the industry! Um, what else would they keep in a film studio? <laughs> My god, I'm starting to think that Phoenix Wright is like the only person with... A brain cell? <laughs> with a brain cell. That is unsettling. <laughs> Power's dressing room. So this is where he was sleeping? Or at least this is where he claims he was sleeping. No one actually saw him taking a nap here, did they? Right, and there's a picture of him near the crime scene. I hope he's telling the truth for his sake. Hmm. There's a vast array of cosmetics here. Hey, yo, is that a Madoka Magic Cup cosplay? <laughs> <gasps> oh! This is the wiki used the Samurai Boogie Woogie! <laughs> You are my dad. You're my, You're my dad. dad. Boogie woogie woogie. Boogie woogie woogie. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, try this on. No. And how can you tell the name of a show just by looking at a wig? I um kind of like samurai movies. Also, if you saw Phoenix Wright's hairstyle, you'd immediately recognize it be him as well. It's just that easy. Kind of. There's a bunch of snacks on the table. They must give these to the employees. Some tea and cookies? Nick, I'm hungry! You just had a burger! Yeah, but I have a separate stomach for sweets! How many <laughs> stomachs do you have?! <laughs> 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 hmm? This must be Power's bag! Hey, don't open that. Look! An employee card key. Relatable. <laughs> that must be Power's. That says Studio One. Let's take it, Nick. Borrow it. You mean borrow. <laughs> she said that she said that with like the most smuggest look let's take it. Let's take it. Let's go. Maya arrested for thievery. <laughs> for trespassing. <laughs> and thievery. Looks like someone was sleeping here. Maybe Powers did take a nap here yesterday. It's locked. Looks like he doesn't open his windows much. I guess it's kind of dusty outside. D dusty. I wonder what else is inside Powers' bag. Stop that! My partner, the thief in training. <laughs> Oh my god! There's some regular suits in among the costumes here. Among? Those must shut up. <laughs> I had I can't, I don't know if you noticed, but I actually stopped myself for a moment. <laughs> These must be so close. It'd be fun to wear one of the costumes. I'd say you were already wearing one myself. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, a clown costume. Ha, I got him. They always have mirrors like this in dressing rooms. I see my hair is still nice and spiky, just how I like it. <laughs> Nice and spiky. Let's go. How much hair gel does he use? <laughs> Probably a lot. Uh, hi. Bye. Eh. Wait, now we can- we can use it now, hold on. Oh, wait, shit, fuck. Fuck! No, wrong thing. The entrance to Studio One. This is the studio where they found the Jack Hammer- where they found Jack Hammer's body. Jack Hammer. I just got it. I'm a fucking dumbass. Yep. Yep. <laughs> what is up with these names? I, They're I all don't puns. Know. I just fucking. I, I didn't even notice. It was just so normal. It was so normal for some reason. And I just. I read it together and I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with me? I wonder if this card key we borrowed from the dressing room will work. It opened. Alright, we're in. He's way too happy for someone visiting a crime scene. Hey, hey, Gamshu, nothing happening here. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. What is it? You're real quiet all of a sudden. Doesn't it give you the shiver, Snick? That white tape, it's so... so real. Well, the evil magistrate did die here. And the seal samurai killed him. The murder weapon was the samurai spear. Sounds pretty real to me. 
I don't know, the way you just explained that sounded very unrealistic. Why does it look like a Transformer? <laughs> it does look like a Transformer. <laughs> the outline where Jack Hammer's body lay with tape. His body was found still inside the evil magistrate's costume. I guess that's why they had, uh, part looks like a helmet on. Funny, expecting the spear stabbing would leave at least a few bloodstains. I guess the costume must have absorbed most of it. Oh, hey, look, that's the chair the director sits in. I've always wanted to sit in one of these. Hey, Nick, take a look at that. It's one of those black and white boards they clap at the start of the filming. And look, a megaphone, a real life megaphone. Ready, Nick? Action! This girl has more trouble than I thought. Jesus Christ. Maya, you have it. <laughs> look, a ladder. That's a step ladder. So, what's the difference? We need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. <laughs> what? Yeah, what the fuck, Nick? Old talk. Thanks for the Right, sorry. This girl is out there. <laughs> oh no, step ladder. I'm stuck. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> wow, look at that camera. That must cost a ton. Yeah, so don't touch it. Whoa, it's heavier than I thought. Hey, you! Don't touch that! Oh, wait. Never mind. <laughs> That's, that's her voice now. Hey, you! Don't touch that! I guess it's a really deep voice. <laughs> Keep the voice! No. Uh, um, sorry. My partner's kind of, you know... You know, I don't know. Um, who are you? Who, oh, me? I'm an assistant here. I help with props and stuff. Moving them around, ordering new ones, etc. We're lawyers representing Mr. Will Powers. Oh, you're WP's people. WP? Oh, Will Powers. We P. I get it. I don't envy you guys on bit. But do what you can for WP, okay? You never heard a fly. He has to be innocent. We P. He we P. Don't worry. Leave it to us. What else do we have? More cameras! Wow! Look at that camera! That must pass a ton! Yeah, so don't touch it! Oh wait, never mind. We're good. Okay. Looks like a backdrop for a stage. This must be used in the Steel Samurai show. Of course! That's the Mount Neo Fujiyama! Doesn't the Steel Samurai take place in Old Tokyo? Can you even see Mount Fuji from there? Not Old Tokyo, Nick! Neo Old Tokyo! Oh, right. Yeah, what the fuck, Nick? Oh, whoops. Nick, man. What's this? That's for reflecting light. They call it a reflecting screen or something like that. The assistant holds it during filming. Huh. What? Where's your enthusiasm for all the things entertainment? Well, lightning is f lighting is fine, but I want to be the director or maybe the steel samurai. I think she's being serious. Okay, I think that's everything so far. Yeah. Hello! Could you tell me anything about the day of the murder? Yeah, I was in the studio the whole day. I was the only assistant on staff that day, you see. Only one assistant? Yes, well, the studio isn't doing so well right now. And yesterday was only rehearsal for our action sequences. Oh, I see! In the morning, we went for the action sequences in the employee area. I... <laughs> I'm just gonna call it Wee Pee now. Wee Pee and Hammer were there, along with everyone else. The employer, that's where Power's dressing room is, right? Yes, that's the place. Old in the background? Huh? Just old bag in the background. Somehow I think these two, uh, you know. A little bit fruity. A little, a little fruity. Just a little fruity. After eating lunch there, Mr. Hammer went to Studio One. Then I saw Wee Pee go into his dressing room. Ah! Oh, oh! There's a fly here. Go away, fly. But I didn't see either of them after all. After that. Do you know that Mr. Powers was sleeping in his room? No, I wouldn't go in there unless I had some urgent message for him. 
I mean, it's his private. W what kind of girl do you think I am? What kind? Th no, I'm sure you're a fine girl. I'm sorry. What do we do, Nick? We haven't found anything. If Wee Pee was the only one who came to the studio, then he was... He has to be the killer. They even have a photograph. Hmm. Um... Sorry, I know you're busy. Not really. Actually, there's been something bothering me. <gasps> Aha! That's what I'm talking about! A clue! A lead! Well, I don't know about that, but that day, just after noon, I sensed someone was here. You sensed? Yes, yeah, several times. Some other studio employees, maybe. No, I don't think so. The only thing we had scheduled was an action scene run through. I was the only assistant here that day. I have a feeling it was someone from outside. R really? But wait, if someone had come in here, wouldn't that security lady have noticed them? Yeah, you're right. I was, was playing Fortnite. <laughs> she was playing Fortnite. She's too busy getting that victory royale. I'm sorry, I don't have any better information than that. No, thanks. That helped us a lot. Anything helps. Let's go put that security lady on the spot. So you sense that someone other than the regular film crew was in the studio? Yes, I think. I think this isn't cut in a witness testimony. Nick, what about the security lady? If someone else came into the studio, she must have seen them. Probably. Who knows? Okay. What if I give you this? I don't really want to think too much about what happened just yet. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> shows the attorney badge everywhere. All right. Uh, hey, Gumshoe. Bye, Gumshoe. Let's go. What? You're still here? Really? You look as though you've seen a ghost. <laughs> She's just kind of like waving her hand. Yeah, let's go. What? I saw that suspicious look on your face. Oh, I have in my mouth. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> oh. I wanted to ask you again about yesterday. You came here at 1pm, correct? And the estimate time of Hammer's death was 2.30? Are you sure that Powers was the only one who got through here between those times? Sure as can be. But we have a witness who thinks that there was someone from outside here that day. What? Are you absolutely sure you were here watching the whole time? Uh, Ma'am? Who was it? Who told you that? Who dares question me? <laughs> Alright, you better tell me you quick, you spidey hair cretin. <laughs> Someone be complaining about the work I do, eh? Um, um, we were just talking to the assistant, Studio One. Her, she's not even a full time employee. All you youngins are like that nowadays, running your mouths like there was no tomorrow, saying that this and that and the other thing. But I was young, never tell you, I knew anything about two of us from taking elders back in the day. Can you shame you just. <laughs> oh my god. It's so fast, help me! <laughs> she left. Well, Nick, this is our chance to do what we can without her looking over our shoulders. The computer that runs the studio's security cameras. <gasps> Nick! It's my Fortnite! Maybe we can see that photo of Powers with this computer. Yeah, maybe. Try it. Okay, let's give it a try. You know how to work these things, Nick? Looks like I just have to enter in a few numbers. Let's see, first I need the date of the murder. It looks like the camera turned on at 1pm that day. When, that was when the security lady arrived at the guard station. Uh, right, it was 3.07. There, entered. <gasps> hey, it printed out the data for that day. Let's see what we got. All my huh? homies hate Maya. She literally has committed every crime somehow. <laughs> huh? How is this a picture of Will Powers? Well, he is the one who always wears that suit. I guess that's why the security lady thought it was him. I don't imagine the detective was very happy with this photo's evidence. Huh? Something's printed on the back. Huh? October 15, 2 p.m. Photo number two. What does that mean? 
<laughs> Maybe there's more photo data from that day? Nope, that's the only one in the computer. But that doesn't make sense. That's number two. There's more. There's more. Someone deleted it! Hey, hey, Nick! Can we use this photo as evidence for the trial? Yeah. We'll put that security lady in her place with this. Right. We'll put her in her place. Hey, that's what I said. Anyway, let's show her this photo and see what she says. Wait, let's not. Why not? It's never a good idea to reveal your hand to the enemy too soon. Nick, you're scraftier than I gave you credit for. Why? You could be the next evil magistrate. Hey, what did I have to do to be the villain? Relax, it was just a joke. So are we done for today? I think this photo is what we needed for the trial. Still, it'd be better if we had some idea of who the real killer was. <coughs> Maybe it really is that security lady. <gasps> to, be <able> to, <laughs> to be continued? Sure. Man. 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 <gasps> Same. Air lugs. <coughs> Sorry. Same. Sorry, I'm contagious. <coughs> no, I inhaled salad! Ah! Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Bowers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, for your opening statement, please. The prosecution will show the court that at 2.30 p.m. on October 15, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hammer in Studio One of Global Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. The evidence presented during the trial will all point to this fact. Hmm, I see. Very well, I would like to move on to some testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. Very well, I call Miss a uh, most uh, familiar face, Detective Gumshoe, to the stand. Hey. Detective, if you would briefly describe this case to the court. Yes, sir! I'll explain with the guide map here. To understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio, see? This here is the employee area. The actors did a run-through of their action scenes during the morning here. This is the main gate to the studios. The security lady that works at the studio was here at 1 p.m. on that day. The past the security station, there is a gate, see? Past that are the studios. And here it is, Studio One. This is the scene of the murder, where the body was found. Now, on the day of murder, October 15, we're, the only, we're only three people here. The victim, Jack Hammer. The defendant, Will Powers. Do I say it? Hmm? I was trying to think what the what the pun on Will Powers was, and I, I just clicked again. I'm so stupid. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Unfortunately, <laughs> um, 80% of the names in Ace Attorney are puns. <laughs> Jack Hammer and Will Power. Oh my god, I fucking hate myself. Like Detective Dick Gumshoe. His, his name is literally Detective Detective Detective. Wait, what? Yeah, so Dick is another name for detective, Gumshoe is another name for detective. <laughs> detective, detective, detective? Really? He was the OG know. Moon Moon! <laughs> <laughs> I cannot, I did not know that. I did not actually know those were two words for detective. Huh. Sorry. <clears throat> Active cubed. <laughs> Hold on. I think I'm dying. I'm falling apart. Help Same. me. Ah! 
and a young woman, the production assistant. All the production staff were in the employee area until noon. Then after lunch, the victim jackhammer went to Studio One. Right after that, at 1 p.m., the security lady got to the guard station. Now jump ahead to later that day, 5 p.m. The production staff came to the Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was cancelled. That's a very clean hole. It is a very clean hole. The time of death was 2.30 p.m. The samurai spear found lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. That's the case of brief. Anyone like to hear that again? Hmm, shall I listen to that whole thing again? I'll just quickly read through it one more time. Oh, I pressed skip it. I'm a fucking dumbass. <laughs> it's okay. I can help you if you want. Oh my god. I pressed the wrong button. So the murder weapon was a spear. How medieval. Samurai spear added to the court record. Your honor. Yes, Edgeworth? This case is quite simple if you ask one question. And that question is... What did the security lady at the guard station see? Understood. Her victory royale. Let's call... <laughs> Let's call the security officer to the stand. Will the witness declare her name? Aren't you a handsome fellow? <laughs> I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. <laughs> yeah, your name, please. Oh, dearie, don't need for you to be embarrassed. Just call me grandma or mommy if you Your prefer. name, please! <laughs> Seems Edward has a bit of a trouble getting his witness to say their name. Wendy, I mean, <laughs> Wendy Old Bag, dearie. <laughs> <sighs> but just call me folks, where you know it's young old bag, I'm never gonna name you, so I don't have young children in front of me. Do you believe it? This boy just happened to do your do your head. Call me an old bag because <laughs> OBJECTION! I object to the witness's talkativeness! Objection sustained! The witness will refrain from rambling in the stand. I was just getting to the good part, dearie. I the amount I love Edgeworth is actually insane. He's so good! <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps we can get to the testimony. Now, the witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? Yes, see, I was. And to get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you. You know your stuff, theory. You may begin your testimony. She sure is one hell of an old bag, but I also love- I love Phoenix so much. I love both- I love this entire cast! They're so good! This entire- <laughs> On the day of the On murder- the day of the oh, murder, oh, right, fuck I arrived at the guard station at 1pm. It's fine. Poor old Hammer and the rest have been doing a run through there since the morning. I well, I had some errands to run that morning, like my victory royale. Anyway, it was one when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from then until 5 o'clock. Now, the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Interesting to me, because a certain man right behind me at 2 p.m. It was Powers, that man right there, and he was heading towards the studio. We saw the defendant. Done. Hmm. Very well. Let's begin the cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Oh god, here we go. Uh... Let's go. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Okay. Poor old Hammer and the rest had been doing a run through there since the morning. That doesn't make sense. Didn't they say that nobody was there? Oh, wait. Anyway, it was one when I got to the guard station. Okay, you said that earlier. From then until five. Uh, whoops, it's not- oh my god. 
It's like 2.30 p.m. Okay. <sighs> okay, yeah. So you saw Mr. Powers. Please? Sorry. That's what I said, got wax in your ears, Sonny? Nix, this is your chance. Yeah, time to pull out the secret weapon. I'll say it again, it was him. Okay. Oh! Let me get this straight, old bag. Er, Mrs. Old Bag. You've been saying since- you me? <laughs> You've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? But you're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? Just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. What is this exactly? None other than the Steel Samurai Defender of Neo Old Tokyo. Mrs. Old Bag. Is this the Mr. Powers that you saw? Didn't your mom teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyone can plainly see those powers, right? No, they can't! Um, well, I mean, I wonder. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. I... I, I know that! I wasn't bored yesterday! No one in his court is accusing you of that, Mrs. Uh, witness. He's ever calling her old bag, apparently. However, you do not have proof that the person in this photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? Nosy old man. Of course I have proof. <laughs> what? Huh? <laughs> Even after. <laughs> Both surprised. <laughs> What's going on? And yours has lost control. <laughs> <laughs> the reins are gone. <laughs> the prosecution would like to ask the old, the witness. <laughs> Please make known all the information in your possession ahead of time. How was I supposed to know? Everyone would be so nosy. You should be ashamed, all of you. Anyway, I showed that photo to the young detective. He told me this isn't any good as evidence, pal. He didn't even give it a second look. How did you know that ahead of time before I even clicked? <laughs> this! Hi. What the hell? I'm psychic. <laughs> I love Andrew Same. so much. Holy shit. Wow, old Windbank has left even Edgeworth speechless. She's good. <laughs> Let's hear about your proof, then. Edgeworth is taking mental damage? I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. That morning, during the run-through of the action scene, I saw power through the fall. He broke through the props. It was a big mess. Anyway, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now, look at that picture! You can see he's dragging his leg! See? Clear as day! That's how I knew it was powers! Happy? What? But there's... what? Hmm, so he had sprained his ankle. Very well. Mrs. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. She's got to be hiding something. I'll press her until she squeals. Okay. Please don't. I never say anything I don't mean. So far, a stupid fall. He broke a prop? Never did his own samurai spear. That can't be! That was the murder weapon! His samurai spear? The murder weapon? Luckily, I was there with my duct tape to fix it. This strikes me as a significant detail. 
I better write this down on the court record. You can see he's dragging his legs. See clear as day. Well, Nick, find any glaring contradictions? Well, she was pretty sure that was Prowse in that photo. I guess I'll just press her and see if I can shake her resolve. I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. I saw Prowse trip. I guess I'm just gonna press her. Trip and fall. Yes, and to think he's supposed to be the steel samurai. What a laugh! So power sprayed his ankle. I helped make it better for him, of course. You you helped make it better. I kissed it where it hurt. <laughs> Let's just skip over that part, shall we? Where was the assistance then? Oh, her? She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Power's ankle. Huh. You may continue your testimony. Broke one of the props. Sprained his ankle pretty bad, but... Was Mr. Power's ankle badly sprained? What? So much that he couldn't walk around. Went to his dressing room to rest up after lunch. Thus the nap. Anyway, I saw him dragging his foot when he walked. Dragging his foot, okay. I think we've heard enough, haven't we, Your Honor? Well, there is one thing that bothers me, which is... Where is this steel samurai costume now? Um... Hmm... A actually... Well... We couldn't find it. We're looking, though. Hmm. How do you lose a call? <laughs> anyway, that's not important. The witness did see the steel samurai. The steel samurai, yes. And it is clear that the person in the steel samurai suit was Mr. Will Powers. Huh, I suppose that's right. Are you sure you're... you're, you're... Hold it right there. We keep talking possibilities, but we have to agree that this photo shows the steel samurai. Nowhere in this photo can we see Mr. Will Powers. The offense has a point. I also wonder if someone else not caught on camera could have killed Mr. Hammer. We have to consider the possibility also. Then allow me to remove that dub from your mind, Your Honor. Will the witness continue her testimony, please? <laughs> oh, no need to ask twice. I'm a poor hammer's desk was 2.30 p.m., true? The only person I saw go to the studio before then was Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. Hmm. So, if no one else went to the studio, then it would have to be his uh, steel samurai who did it. Miss Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, I mean, the only person I saw this video before then was Will Powers. No, was, I. But, like, the girl said something. What about before you got to the guard station? Fizz! I'm sorry. I'm trying to cough. <laughs> oh no, I'm you mean, sorry. You mean before one o'clock? Why, everyone was in the employee area before then. And I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Not to mention. Hmm. Are you sure? <laughs> the witness has answered the question. Anyone going into the studio had to pass by the witness. That's right, Sunny. <laughs> you let him have it, edgy boy. <laughs> The edgy boy. Babe. <laughs> Old Winback sure is balls. Or, well, you know what I mean. Old Winbacks have a way of skipping over important details after all. Or for the matter, 
entirely forgetting them. How convenient. Something for you to look forward to, perhaps. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> Are you absolutely sure? Oh, quite, quite, Sunny. Nobody suspicious looking pass by at all. Nobody suspicious looking, right. Except no myself. I've, I must be forgetting something. How do you know that? Eh? Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, go on. Eh? Didn't I just explain? I gave donuts to the young detective. And then, after some rubbish about it being a secret pal, he told me everything. <sighs> I see Detective Gumshoe shares his fellow officer's fondness for donuts. God, what am I missing? I would say is that like yeah this is photo two but you can't two time but his key anime? Yeah, there's an anime of the first game, I think. Is it just the first game? Your Honor! This statement cut does it? It does? I, yeah, it does it! <laughs> no! I was thinking that the card key was, like, still in the lounge. I... It's a trilogy? Thank you. I forgot. Stop to the sim from was willpower. Are you absolutely sure? Blah blah blah. Before you got to go to Dart Station. I would have seen them. But I can't <laughs> Yeah, and this again. God, I'm so I'm so stupid. Trying to figure this one out. This is so hard. I'm here. I feel like I'm. Fr I'm. I'm not getting something. When in doubt, prove you're a lawyer? Okay, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I sure am in a court of law. A time of death caused pierced to the chest by a spear. I'm- I'm no, actually you. confused. Maybe it's- maybe you just have to be like, oh yeah, but this is photo number two. Oh, I don't- I'll probably- Fuck, hold on, I gotta save. I believe in you. 
I don't know, man. I'm t I'm genuinely trying to think about this. Hold on, I'll just have to. Hold on. Look at this photograph one more time. Look this at this photograph! <laughs> this photo was taken by the camera at the gate for the studios, correct? Yes, sir, you sonny. So whenever anyone passes by here, it automatically takes a picture. And here I thought you didn't know your head from a hole in the ground. Right. Anyway, it's also true that the computer in the guard station records all security cam data. Oh, you know, if you wanted to work at the studio, we might have an opening. That very computer printed out this photo. Note that on the back of the photo, I printed the words October 15, 2 p.m. photo number two. I uh, See, I knew it. It was because of the number two. I knew it. I just was doubting myself so hard. Even I know that means it was taken at 2 p.m. on October 15th. Really sunny. Actually, I knew that too. The issue here is the bit at the end where it says photo number two. Photo number two? The computer only held data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that's odd? Shouldn't this photo be photo one if it really was the only photo? Order! Order! Please tell the court what do you mean by this, Mr. Wright? Actually, that's what I wanted to ask the witness. This evidence shows that not one, but two people went to the studio that day. Yet, there is only data for one of those photos. Who could have uh, erased the data for the other photo? Only someone with access! The security lady herself! Eh? Me! What's your mouth, whippersnapper? I don't, the only person I saw that day was Will Powers! But the camera on the gate fired twice. That means two people went by. Um... Well, yes, that's what it would seem to mean. Can the witness explain this to the court? Uh, ahem. I, I don't understand these newfangled computer things. Um, edgy boy, help. Uh! B believe me, I want to, but I don't know what this means either. <laughs> some help you are, some you're with your sapper too. Whippersnapper? Something the matter, Mrs. Oldback. Oh! That's right! I... I just remembered something. Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate. Someone other than the Steel Samurai. Uh, well, yes. I suppose you could put it that way. <sighs> I see. Your testimony, please. Oh my god. Oh boy. <laughs> Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded on the security computer and check them. <laughs> I throw out any of your photos that aren't suspicious of me, you see. Oh my god. Come to think of it, now... I remember throwing out one photo that day. M Mrs. Oldbag, this is the first I've heard of this. Well, of course, Sunny. I've only just remembered it. Right. Anyway, Mr. Wright, please begin the cross-examination. Well, I'd say this was a turn for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. Aren't suspicious looking? What? How exactly do you determine what isn't suspicious looking? Oh, you can tell by looking at their faces, for the most part. For, for the most part? This is a murder trial, Mrs. Oldbag. Well, I didn't touch that suspicious looking Will Powers photo, did I? I think she's missing the point. Well, who in the heck was in that photo you erased? Bad 
boy. F fanboy? Real samurai fanboys. Real freaks, if you ask me. Well, why day it's just so... And it's gonna go... They get information about the rehearsals from gosh knows where. They're always hanging about. One was there that day. Wait a second. Didn't you just say no one else could get in? I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Those were your words. Well, if you must know, there's a drain that goes into the employee area. Oh my god. The grate has been loose for a while. It leads outside and well, that's where they come in. They come in through the drain. I told you they were freaks. Rats, rats, where are the rats? <laughs> oh, and... And? They're kids. Children. Whippersnappers. Kids? So on the photo that you erased. It was a boy. Probably second or third grade. What?! Order! Order! Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass by the gate on their way to the studios that day. One was the steel samurai dragging his leg. The other was a boy who locked, uh, who, who locked, who looked to be in about second or third grade. Oh yes, well, we see his type there every day. Can't stop him, can't catch him. A boy in second or third grade. Hmm. I assume it would be hard if not impossible for a young boy to wield that samurai spear. Impossible, I think. It's quite heavy. Right. As I said, I didn't pay him much mind. That's why I raised the daughter. Um, Nick, what's going on? I mean, the boy was there. That makes him a suspect. Yeah, they're already trying to unsuspect him. This court will take a five-minute recess. I want the defense and the prosecution to consider this new information. And no forgetting vital information this time. Your honor, the kid vented. I deem him sus. Mr. Powers? Y yes Tell me straight, were you really in your dressing room? You didn't go to the studio. I, I didn't go to the studio, I was sleeping, honest. So who was the Steel Samurai in that security photo? H how should I know? The Steel Samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it, really. Wait, that would make sense that the kid was wearing it. Dragging the legs. What? You should take better care of that stuff. I, I couldn't imagine anyone w would want to steal a steel samurai costume. So, where does this leave me? It doesn't look good. <laughs> You're the only likely us suspect right now. Nick! What are we going to do? First we play uh, for more time. We'll start targeting someone else that could con conceivably have done this. Right! And it'll take them so long to shoot us down that we can get another day. Right, but if we pick the wrong person, we might lose on the spot. You don't sound very optimistic. I'm not op optimistic at all, actually. Hey, Nick, it's time. Okay, let's go. <sighs> what does that mean? Please don't sigh like that. <laughs> Court will now re reconvene for the trial of Mrs. Will Powers. Mr. Edward Edgeworth? Edgy? Mr. Edgyworth? <laughs> Will you present the prosecution's thoughts on this matter? The prosecution's thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studios was a boy of roughly 10 years of age. The photo we do have may not be hard evidence. But there is still no one else that could have committed this crime. I call for a verdict of guilty for the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Very well. Mr. Wright, your thoughts? The defense disagrees with the prosecution's claim. There is another person who could have committed this crime. Order! Interesting. Let us hear who you have in mind. However, beware that this court does not t look kindly on accusing the innocent. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. Right, great. As if the stakes weren't high enough. Well, we have to take the assistant, girl. It was the assistant. The Steel Samurai costume was in his dressing room. She stole it, and in doing so, she became the Steel Samurai. So you're saying the Steel Samurai in the picture is really the assistant's? That's correct, Your Honor. 
If you're serious, you got guts, Mr. Wright. Remember the photo? Wasn't the Steel Samurai a little lame? He was dragging his foot. Oh, a uh, uh, bad feeling time. Remember the testimony concerning Power's injury? Ours and poor Hammer were at the run-through. Oh, and me. What about the assistant? Oh, her? She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Power's ankle. The assistant knew nothing of Mr. Power's injury. She could look the Steel Samurai look with that co with that costume. But she couldn't walk the Steel Samurai walk. She wouldn't have lipped. I kind of takes the leg out of from under that case. Mr. Wright, I'm afraid I have to pee like- No! Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. <laughs> God, this fight isn't over yet. If you would, Your Honor, one more chance, please. Oh god, well, I mean, the only one that we can do is the great school boy! It was the great school boy! Why isn't anyone saying anything? Ha! Are you seriously suggesting the boy didn't, Mr. Wright? Great school boy kills veteran action star with spear. For one thing, the murder weapon was with the steel samurai. Would you care to explain just how the boy would have obtained it from him? Maybe that was a dumb move on my part. Maybe? Maybe? How about absolutely, Nick? Oh, oh no! <laughs> no! Nobody... <laughs> no! Man, Nick is getting so many penals today. I would like to penal him. Oh, yes? Yeah. <laughs> it was the security lady. Wet the old bag. Oh, oh, oh. The Steel Samurai is dragging his leg in this picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew about the morning's injury. Maybe because they had been watching the action scene run through. This one makes the most sense. I'm not smart. <laughs> there was only one person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. The security lady, Old Bag. What? Whipper snapper? Order! Order! Is this true, Old Bag? Old Bag? That's Miss Old Bag to you! Miss Old Bag was standing guard alone at the main, stay uh, main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she has no alibi. She could have briefly left her post to steal the Steel Samurai costume. Then slipped into Studio One, the scene of the murder. W why would she go through the trouble of, swearing of wearing the Steel Samurai costume? Simple, Your Honor. She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. If she was in the costume, she could point the fingers at Mr. Powers. I see! Excellent deductive reasoning, Mr. Wright! Oh yeah! Right there! Sherlock Holmes too, baby! <laughs> That's odd. Isn't this the part where Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't he usually jump up with an objection and some new damning evidence? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? The prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. What? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, so you all think I did it, is that it? Eggie boy, don't just sit there, do something! What's my move? Maybe now's my chance to take this to the whole way? <laughs> the very same reason that makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case can be used to cast doubt on Mrs. Oldback's actions on that day. Why would I do something so horrible to poor Hammer? You forget that Mr. Powers lacks a clear motive, too. Oh, indeed. They did it. Now Oldback is one of the suspects. No hard feelings, I hope. He just admit it. What about the other person who went to the studio? Boy, oh, the one oh. whose photo I erased! Okay, so if I do it, it's crazy, but if you do it, it's fine! He's only a grade schooler, though. As you said, second or third grade, was it? Doesn't matter. When I was that age, I could pin my old man at 10 seconds tops! Huh. Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? That boy is not the killer. What? How can you be so sure? Oh! 
Or is it be nice to the kids and meet your elders day, whippersnapper? <laughs> I have proof. Proof? Indeed. But let's see this proof, Mr. Wright. Well, yeah, because she admitted to having the spear. That's literally it. Take that! Your honor! The murder weapon was the samurai spear. That very spear is shown here in this photo. How could the boy have taken the spear? It's impossible. Oh, I see. Well, would the witness care to go come on, comment on this? Very well. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Mr. Edgeworth, please find out more about your witnesses, Mr. Windy. Uh, what was her name? Something old bag, your honor. <laughs> He just does not care. <laughs> <laughs> the, the prosecution will look further into this old man before we continue. That is all. This court is adjourned. I wonder what's going on with Edgeworth. Wait a second. I'm not going to just sit here while you run up barking up the wrong tree. Me? I'm talking. Oh, great. Stop the press. The windbag wants to talk. This is Oldbag. What is this all about? Have you omitted something from your testimony? Okay, if you want to something I was told not to talk about. Not to talk about? But by whom? Huh? You mean it wasn't Edward who told her not to talk? Well, we'll testify. Oh my god. <sighs> Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were some other people at the studios on the day of the murder. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? So they told me to just pretend they hadn't been at the studios that day. But if you're going to go accusing me, I'm not letting them get away scot-free. Oh, God. M Mrs. Oldback! This is crucial information! Why didn't you keep this from the court? Why did you keep this from the court until now? You be listening? They told me to shut my trap, and I always do what I'm told. No, this is a bad dream, Your Honor. Witness the power of the old back. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. What is there to cross-examine? So you were told not to talk. That's right, by the studio, the TV bigwigs, no less. Why didn't I hear about this? Don't be too hard on yourself, Sonny. We were all in on it. Uh, who were these people? Well, the director and the producer, for starters. D director we should have known something was fishy. How could they have done a run-through of their action scene without a director? Of course! Yes, well, I was surprised no one asked about it. It seems like Edward is slowly is on our side. So, where were these people? The director was in the employee area all morning for the run-through. He joined the producer around lunchtime and they had a meeting after that. It's- I just find it strange. Isn't he, like, uh, the- what is it? What is his- what is his role? God damn, I forgot. What the- the it? opposition? Yeah. It's, that's not your job, Edgeworth! <laughs> Where? Prosecutor, oh, the there we go. The prosecutor, trailer. right. Yeah. I think- <laughs> yeah, Edgeworth just- Edgeworth is just fucking done! <laughs> I mean, same. S studio 2. It was a Studio 2? Well, if you look at the guide map, here it is. You go through the gate and all the way to the left. The path for the monkey's head was falling over. Well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue the cross-examination? Um... We should take a break. We should probably go there. Your Honor, we have learned there were others at Global Studios the day in question. The director and the producer and uh, some bigwigs were all present. 
Yet, as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I hold that it is impossible to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. Hmm. The court acknowledges the defense's point. The prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Mrs. Oldback, and more information about these other people we have just been told of. I understand, Your Honor. This ends the day's proceedings and a trial of Mr. Will Powers. That is all. This court is adjourned. Jesus Christ. He is so done. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. It was right to ask you to defend me. Um, really? It's nothing. How do you make a grin noise? Eee. Oh, or should I say... <sighs> well, I'll be going down to the studios to do some more investigating. Oh, that's Phoenix. Yeah, I'm fucking dumb. <laughs> You think you think Maya's the type of person to say emojis out loud and yes. like, how the fuck did you say that out loud? <laughs> she would also totally use Twitch lingo. Yeah. Phoenix oh, Ram! Phoenix right, that was poggers! <laughs> we have to find out more about this director and producer. They'll be turning up in the next trial as witness for certain. So now is my chance to get material for the cross examination. So Nick, have we figured out just who it was in that steel samurai costume? Could it really have been Old Windbag? What do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Neither do I, Nick. Yeah, I know. Look, I was just buying time back there. Someone had to be the bad guy for a bit to take the pressure off of Mr. Powers. Poor Old Windbag. I feel kind of sorry for her. Well, she wasn't winning any points in there, uh, without, with or without my accusation. Okay, let's get down to the studios. Right. We'll be back to visit you soon. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, guys. I mean, it's 2016 in this game right now. Yeah. When did Pog get popular? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, my headphones are dying. Headphones! Plug them in my ear. There we go. Phew. What a day. This is no time for relaxing, Nick. Say, you think we peas got a chance? I guess that really depends on the people we found out about in today's trial. The director and producer? Yeah, them. Well, what are we doing here, then? Let's go to the studios. What do you think we should do? Well, what do I... Huh? Why don't we do what you just said? We gotta get this scoop on this director and producer. Oh, right. Then there's no point hanging out here. That's what I've been saying! Let's get to those, uh, studios pronto! We don't have enough information to make a case yet. That's exactly the same thing you just said yesterday. Just a minute, you don't have a clue what happened. There's not enough information! Oh my god. Okay. Has things changed? Torture technique. Bellboy happily cleaning the room. Okay, nothing is new. Okay. <laughs> Alright! Let's move! Actually, we should go to the detention center one more time. Hello! How's it going? Oh, Mr. Wright, thank you for earlier. Not at all. We got lucky, to tell the truth. You can say that again! Let's not. So, we pee. Do you have any leads that might get us going in the right direction? Ugh. S sorry but none. Oh, no. You shouldn't tell us anything that comes to mind, no matter how small. We can't... Oh, we can't rely on getting lucky again tomorrow. D yeah. <laughs> Is him sniffing just a trait? I think so. Do our fanboys sneak into the studios often? No, no not that I know of. The security lady is pretty strict with them. But in today's testimony, didn't you say they were off to hang around? The kids really, uh, really love the Steel Samurai. They sneak past when she's not looking, I guess. Was the director present at the morning run through? Y yes, yes, he was. He was directing how the Steel Samurai and the evil magister uh, ma magistrate should move. Why didn't you tell us that before? Well, well just the studio asked us to keep quiet. That 
has nothing to do with this. I had to repeat myself, but Nick here is a newbie lawyer. Fresh off the bar. When he loses, he's going to lose big. Uh, I see. Whose side is she on? You're air you aren't hiding anything else from us, are you? N no, I sure hope not. Yeah, I sure hope not either. Jesus Christ. No one's here. Right now that they have Mrs. Oldbag in custody. I guess they don't have anyone else to replace her. Hey! In the guard station! Look, she left her donuts! What? I wasn't going to eat them. <laughs> really? Were you? Quince. The computer runs the studio security cameras. Huh? It looks like it's been turned off for the day. Hmm. An overhead map of the studios. Okay. I mean, they probably have a police officer on patrol out there. Film equipment. Okay. The birds look, sound so unreal. They look so fake. It's really funny. Mari okay. should be the one, uh, you know. Doing that. Let's go to Studio One. Hey, Nick. It looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here today. You're right. He's probably up to his neck in paperwork after the commotion at today's trial. So, Nick, remember that Studio Two were heard about at the trial today? It was down that path with the fallen tree, right? Yeah, I think that's what they said. Maybe the director and the rest of them are there today? Now's our chance, Nick. Let's check it out. Ooh. This is Studio 2? I thought so. It doesn't really look much like a studio, does it? No, that it does not. <laughs> hey, there's a trailer over there. It looks pretty sturdy for a movie set trailer. Are we sure this is a studio? Are we sure this is a studio? <laughs> Boo! Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Crisscross! An incinerator. Apparently just put this one in. It's already covered in suit and they must not clean it much. A light van for moving staff and equipment around. They've kept it in pretty good shape. Looks like it'd be f run fine. Well, let's go for a drive. Sure, if I had a license. Oh my god, he doesn't have a license! Nick, you don't have a driver's license? But look, I have this. Why are you showing me your attorney's badge, Nick? <laughs> Looks like two people ate here. There's nothing left on the plates. Hey, so they ate T-bone steaks too. What is it with steaks around here? Hey, there's always room for steak, but something does seem out of place. I don't know, it just feels odd. Yeah, a little. It feels a little odd. There's some flowers here. Wow, so pretty. They're taking good care of these. Don't get too close. That fence looks dangerous. Okay, Nick. These look like materials for making a movie set. They've been sitting here for quite some time. This might as well be a junkyard. A close inspection, this trailer looks like it's been here for a while. I don't think this is part of some temporary film set. Nick, let's go inside. You think it's okay? Oh, well. Oh, well, it's locked. Aw, shucks. Well, what the fuck else do we do? There's a big tube painted here. Probably because this is Studio 2? Probably, though it doesn't look anything like a studio. Hmm. There's nothing else here. Huh. Two. Hmm. I don't know! <laughs> Take the spear and break in! <laughs> oh man. Hold on. Knock, knock, it's your Uber driver. Hmm. Security camera all it takes pictures of people here took to pictures on the day of the murder before the actual time of death. It doesn't seem to be switched on today. Oh my god, I'm so confused. 
This is exactly why I don't want to get old ever. Still young. <laughs> when you start having the same still young, you know it's all over. But I, I am still young. He is 20-something. Hmm. Enters the studio one. This is the studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. Why don't they put his head back on? Maybe you should ask that assistant. I'm not sure we really want her fixing anything. And you probably need a crane to move that thing. Probably so. Well, let's go see if she's even there. To talk to her. Yeah, Nick in this game is 24. I, I don't really want to be in here. Yeah, it is a murder scene. I want to go someplace, someplace else, Nick. <sighs> Sorry, I gotta re-examine stuff. His body was found still inside the evil magistrate costume. I guess that's why they... Yeah, okay. Hmm. Okay, everything else is still the same. It's still the same. Still the same. Okay, all of this is still the same. Let's leave. Hmm. Let's see if she's there. Look, it's an assistant girl! Hey! Hi. Three peace lawyers, right? I heard about the trial. Great job, guys! Oh. Oh, ho, ho. Don't mention it. Is it true they caught the security lady? Oh, 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 Actually, she just called me. She told me to cover up that dream. You mean that one? Wow, what a mess. I... I know. I'm not so good with handiwork. Some assistant, right? Yeah, but you do work the, uh, on the props and the backdrops, right? Right. Just lots of times I end up looking worse than I did before I fixed them. Uh, oh, well, I'm sure these things happen. Why did Nick just fucking laugh like that? Like, oh ho ho! Oh ho ho ho! <laughs> He's flattered. <laughs> Is that. <laughs> Fucking Edruff is like, Nick, I like your suit. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, but I'm sure these things happen. Nothing to worry yourself about. You're right, I won't. Personally, I think she should worry at least a little bit more. Um, if you'll excuse me, I have to go to the guard station. I'm supposed to fill in for Mrs. Oldpack. Right, see you later then. Good luck with your investigation. Hmm. So the fanboy they were talking about in the trial today, he came in for that drain? So it seems, I guess they covered it up in a hurry. Hey, hey Nick! Hopefully he vented. If that drain's covered in, uh, covered, the boy won't be able to come in. Uh, yeah, I think that was the idea. I was kind of sorry for him. Don't you? What, you want to rip the grate off? Really, Nick? We can? Oh, she's serious? Uh-oh. Okay, let's rip it open. <laughs> well, I guess some things are just meant to be broken! Yay! You know, Nick, you're pretty swell sometimes. Sometimes. Hiya! There. That should make the kids happy. The things we do. Oh. Oh, great. The drain grate is off. And I know who did it. The imposter's in. Now the kids will be able to come in again. Does it make you feel great to do a good deed like that? <laughs> Must be nice to live so free of guilt. There's a half-finished backdrop for stage here. Looks like a castle. Probably Neo Old Tokyo Castle. Looks like one of those electric-powered bicycles. I don't know about these. I mean, what's the point? It makes it a lot easier to go up hills. Don't people cycle to get exercise? <laughs> the remains of the other day's lunch are scattered around. Everyone was probably too shocked to clean up. Oh yeah, the T-bone steak still. Slide. Oh wait. Nothing here. Oh, I clicked out of the game! Everything's still the same. Blah blah blah. Let's let's go inside. This is where the steel samurai costume was on the day of the murder. That's what Mr. Powers says, at least. I guess they snuck in and took it while he was sleeping. But Nick, what if Mr. Powers hadn't been sleeping? I wonder what the killer was planning on doing then. Huh? She's got a point. Hmm. It's kind of dusty outside. Mr. Powers back. I wonder what's inside. Hey, supermarket tabloids? Wow, I'm kind of shocked. 
Maya, leave those alone. Wolfman found on Mars? I have to buy that issue. What? Wolfman, huh? <laughs> Wolfman, huh? Yeah. According to Maya, this is uh... Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Wolfman. Phoenix is a furry confirmed? Oh, hello. Oh, ho! Oh, you look a little out of place. It's the clothes, isn't it? I thought my can't mail this might do the trick. Kind of an alternative guard fashion thing. So how are the studios doing? The police wandering around everywhere, it's terrible. They won't even let me clean up, don't want me disturbing evidence. I haven't even cleaned up our lunch plates from the day of the murder. You mean those plates with the steak bones left over on them in the employee's area? Yeah, can you believe it? Do kids sneak in here a lot? Well, I don't think there's that many of them, but I do see one in particular a bunch. He's always gawking at the sets or snapping pictures. You should see old Windbag's eyes flash when she sees him. She has a bit of trouble catching him, though. I heard something at the trial today. They said that the director and the producer were here the day of the murder. Oh, sorry. I was in the prop storage room, so I didn't see them. I guess they were here, though. The studio had seemed pretty eager to keep us quiet. So they were trying to protect the director? More the producer, really. The producer's our real star here. She saved these out studios from the brink of disaster and kept them running. I don't think we'd still be in business if it were for that pr producer. The producer, huh? Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. What can you sue about the spear? Uh, say, you work with the props, right, about that murder weapon? You mean the samurai spear? Yeah, it's a prop, but it's still pretty heavy. I hate having to carry that thing around. So you have to be pretty strong to use that as a weapon. It sounds like... Why is Mr. Powers the only person I can think of? Uh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Could you take a look at this? Uh, why is he dragging his legs like that? What is this anyway? Looks like he didn't know about the photo or the injury. <sighs> okay. Well, the only thing to do is go back to that area. I feel like I'm missing something. This place is deserted. Eek! N Nick! What was that noise? It sounded like he came from inside the trailer. Someone must be inside. Hello? No answer. Pretty suspicious if you ask me, Nick. Let's Us? go in. I'm not I'm not sure we should be barging in. Huh? It's locked. What? Don't we have a key? No, but there's probably one in the guard station at the main gate. Then we're waiting for it. Let's borrow it. If they'll let us. Oh my god. I did have to just leave and come back. Uh, hold on. Let's see. Wait, where did they say? Wait, I'm stupid. Where did they say was the key? Miz, can you help me? I literally forgot uh, on the spot. Uh, they just said it. I'm a fucking idiot. Isn't it the guard station? <laughs> Wait, but that's right here. Huh. What? I'm... Uh, wait. There, there's nothing in, you can examine? <clears throat> oh! Oh my god! Oh my god, it was above the TV! Oh my god. I Are you hate, kidding? I hate what? The, I hate the hitboxes in these things. I can see the computer that runs the security cameras. Oh, please don't touch anything in there. The security no, lady would knock the stuffing so off if, out of me if fun. she knew. You are right. Did I say TV? Uh, the computer. <laughs> Dying. 
I really want the key on that tailor. Maybe next time. What? Wait. Huh? What? Between defense attorney and prosecutor, which would Voxer choose to be? How? We actually said that earlier. Voxer would totally be a prosecutor and he'd be terrible at it. Now I'm confused. Hello. I need to... S Damn it. <laughs> Do we need to go back there again? I'm so confused. Wait, what? I'm so fucking... Uh... The trailer door. It's locked. The key is probably in the security guard station. I doubt they'd let us borrow it. Huh. <gasps> Wait! What if the kid came through? Oh my god. Hold on. Wait, I fucking went the wrong way. Nope. Slide. Slide. Oh, All right, man. we haven't seen anyone venting yet. I'm- I'm actually confused now. Don't call her Pettywise, what's your problem? It wants us to get... ...from here. This is the frustrating thing about Ace Attorney games, like... ...you have to trigger something specific, and then you get to the next cutscene, and I was like, fuck. Really? That's annoying. I can tell you where to go if you want. It, it, do I have to leave the studio? No. Okay, alright, then I'll, I'll probably find it. Just need to... This is two of them again, it's in the way. Well, I didn't knock that tree over when it fell. Both of these, the monkey head and the tree fell to... Yeah, that's what Detective Gumshoe said. One ugly monkey. Says welcome. Welcome! Welcome! You can't even see the top of the O. It could be you. It could say you for all I care. Welcome. 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 <laughs> Sorry, gotta examine some bullshit. Uh-oh, step leader, I'm stuck. Step, step leader. <sighs> Nothing here. I'm fucking dying. I'm... Am I missing something here? No, probably not. I'm probably missing nothing here. I'm just like... <laughs> Painting the area with my fucking thing! Let's go! Hello! Painting, 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 making sure there's not anything missing. The painting! Painting the, the scenery with my fucking investigation thing! Let's go! No stone unturned! I guess I feel... I guess I am pretty stupid because I don't know. Do I have to show her something? No. Alright, I give up. Miss, what do I have to do? And I missed. Go to the employee area. Okay, what did I miss here? We'll go to the dressing room. Are you, are you kidding? Are you, are you kidding? I have to go to the dressing room? Now give me this next character. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck?
fuck? Who are you dudes? LMAO? <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, huh? But we... Wait, you first, who are you? You look pretty suspicious to me! Huh? Whatever, lamers. How can you not know the great Salmonella? Oh my god, it's a Discord mod. <laughs> Sol Vanilla? Yeah, dude? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How could you not know the great Sol Vanilla? I'll make the lead shows the, the steel samurai shows. mine RTFC. Read the film credits. Really? You're the Salmonella? I am so sorry. I just you look so sorry. No, no, quite alright, really. It's fine. R O F L. You don't say Raffle. Raffle copter. Raffle copter. But what is it? You know, on closer inspection. Mmm, yeah. Hot! 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 Oh, Miss <laughs> Hey, you don't do a lot of cosplay, cause that cost you rock stars. Oh god! <laughs> Next. Oh my god, he's the type to call you a Discord kitten. <laughs> What's wrong, my Discord kitten? <laughs> but why don't you play some Fortnite with me? <laughs> Roxers? What? What? Hey, you're drooling. Huh? Uh, LOL. Buffer overrun. <laughs> You've triggered my creative powers. <laughs> Yes! Yes, it's coming to me! Pink Princess! A sequel to the Steel Samurai, Pink Princess, Warrior of Little Old Tokyo! Ruffle! Lamau! <laughs> Lamau! <laughs> I'm losing it, <laughs> Pink Princess? Why's it gotta be Little Old Tokyo? Why can't it have a cool name like Neo Old Tokyo? Maya, we really need to talk about cool. Um... I... <laughs> I... Uh, it's... I'm getting zoinks out of my gourd. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Did you notice anything unusual on the day of the murder? Oh, I know who you dudes are. That security go. later told you about us, hey? Uh, that's right. It was a pretty regular day. We had a run-through for an action scene in the morning. Then a meeting for lunchtime in the Studio 2 trailer. <laughs> I was so busy, I didn't even get a chance to eat lunch. How did you make <laughs> that- How did you make that emoji with your mouth? <laughs> uh, a team oh, oh, a, a team bone steak, was it? Yeah, sucksores. I hate missing out on food. Nick, what does sucksores mean? <laughs> no idea. Anyway, I was in a meeting from noon till after four. With the producer and some big wigs from the network. Mr. Hammer's time of death was estimated at 2.30 p.m. We still have time to prove that mean meeting gives him an alibi. What about the producer who was at the meeting with you? Oh, you mean Dean Vasquez? What's the joke here? The va I, I actually don't know. <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's Eva. Diva? I think? Oh, I see! <laughs> Diva! Oh my god. Diva. Uh, the, 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 the Vasquez? Like, actually, like, threw me off. 
He's a genius. Bad skills all the way. Scary though. Ugh. He brought these studios back from the brink of destruction. Diva esque? Oh my god, that actually makes so much more sense. He's the one who made it possible for me to make the Steel Samurai. You had a meeting with the hero on the day of the murder, right? Yeah, we were together from noon to 4 p.m. the whole time. Who exactly are these bigwigs people keep mentioning? Oh, the boss over at the network, it's those sponsors, also a few production guys. They popped into a limousine and got here right around noon. Major tension. Ugh. Were all of them with you the entire time? Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> They're all gray-haired geezers. Ugh. Aren't you gray-haired? Huh? Well, sounds like they'll be reliable witnesses. Cool. Uh. Okay, I guess I can try and. Uh... This is. This is VP, right? How do you know? Well, look, he's obviously dragging his foot. Oh, right. The director would know about the injury. He was there. Oh. Oh, God. I hate that face. Why are you staring at me like that? Oh. This is fucking creepy. Okay, he has nothing to say. Just stab him. Yeah, he's weird. Wait, what fucking now? Okay, um, I'm getting out of here. Yeah, I hate this guy. Um. Aha! You again. <laughs> Yeek! How rude, acting like you've seen a ghost! You certainly got back to your post quickly. No, oh, the police took me away, they did. They pulled out the spare steel samurai costume. Told me to put it on. Can you imagine? How could I, a sweet little old lady, wear a giant suit like that? Mr. Powers is pretty tall. As soon as they saw there was no way I could bear it, they let me go. I guess I would roll out her being the murderer. Anyway, no, this swimmer snapper. This old lady never forgets a slight old insult. And you won't get any information out of me. My lips are sealed. You sure are talking a lot for someone with sealed lips. Just starting now. One, two, three. Mm. This lady is too much. The security guard station. I can see the computer down as a security camera. Hey, don't touch him. Guys, I better investigate there later. Okay, she's back, that's good. Uh, Is it? No. Um, about that kid you said you saw. I see him again, I'm taking him down! N Nick, look at her eyes, she's serious! About the director, the one who was here on the day of the murder. If I see him again, I'm taking him down! Wait, what? Nick, I think he's losing it! Oh god. She's, she's going feral. Okay, where the fuck do we trigger the next thing? Okay, let's, uh, let's, uh... Hmm. Oh, on access. But... Still can't access that. God, she's good. She's getting bored. Better. Oh, I'm sorry, shit. I gotta time you out. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. Fuck, I'm morbing. <laughs> What? Why are you- why are you taking me away from morb time? Okay, nothing is here. Okay, let's go back to the... ...poi area. <gasps> hey! Uh, hey, wait! Oh, Bethy came right through that drain. Hey, I'm oh, Kenya! What's your name, sport? a kid so don't talk to me like that huh, huh? but you you are a kid what a rude little brat that's no way to talk to an adult i don't see no adults here hippie fashion chick huh. hippie fashion nick i, I think i'm being mom 
hurt. You got to add it to my eyes. She's pretty sharp and pretty mad. I'm Cody. Cody Hackins. Cody Hackins. I mean, I guess code hack? Code? Code hacker? Yeah. And hacking could also mean his sword in the back, I guess. Code hacking? Code and hacking. Call me Kitty-O again and I'll cut you down where you stand, evil doer! So you're a fan of the Steel Samurai. How dare you add it at me, evil doer! What do you mean? We're the Steel Samurai side. Ha ha! Ha ha! You can't fool me! He can't even get it out of his chief. Okay, then what's the last line said by that innkeeper in episode 8? <laughs> Easy. Lick some fries. Well, like some fries with that. <laughs> Not bad, kitty -o. Watch it! What are they doing? Uh, say, you heard anything about the incident on the other day? You were here, weren't you? Did you see anything? He... He... He always... The Steel Samurai always wins! Always! Yeah, I saw him, I saw everything! W what but, but no way am I telling you, losers! What? Wait... Let me go! Oh... He's gone. Huh! Something fell off the table when he bumped into it on his way out. Bottle? Why was this sitting there, I wonder? So <gasps> Drugs? Drugged. He got drugged. Drugs! Anyway, what was that kid saying? He saw everything? Huh. The drain where the fanboy came in. He didn't waste any time coming in, either. Talk about case and... Fuck it, whatever. The door to the dressing room is not- it's not locked. Hey Nick, let's go in. Maybe there'll be something else to steal. Hey, we're not thieves. But we did take that card key. We borrowed that. There's a difference. Yeah. Sure. Nick, keep telling yourself that. Mm -hmm. Is he still in there? Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Goodbye. You know what? Yeah, no, I gotta go. Yeah, yeah, I gotta, yeah, gotta go. Yeah, bye. See you later. Bye. <laughs> huh? Where's that old windbag? Out of her to leave her post. Hey! Oh. Nick, that was her! Oh, Ripper Snapper! The, yeah, sounds like he's chasing after that boy. Natch! Uh oh, she tripped. Maya sure looks happy. Quick, grab it. Oh, we're back! Hey, hey, Nick. Now's our chance. Let's check out the guard station. Good idea. Oh, this is it, Nick. The trailer key. The key to that, uh, to key, the key to that trailer in Studio 2. Well, uh, we'll be borrowing this, right, Nick? Oh my god. Ziggurat Station is all back must like junk food. There's a mountain of it in the desk in there. Oh god. Hey. Alright, nice. Move to outside Studio 2. Now we're moving We're doing our to task, guys. Uh, now we're moving over to the other side, and now we're looking at and examining the door. Now we're using the key to get inside. I wonder if the key we borrowed from the guard station will work. It opened. Great. Let's go, Nick. She seems eager all of a sudden. Well, you first, Nick. Uh, not that eager. Let's go inside the trailer. The singing samurai, samurai summer, dynamite samurai. <laughs> that kind of looks like a penis. <gasps> yeah! S someone's in here. <clears throat> Wait, hold on. I gotta get a drink for this one. I like you want me to take her. I can take her in a fight. Ask me out first, Jesus. <laughs> no, it's okay. He he looked at he'll look at Booba and be like, nice. Oh, a nightbot. 
Nightbot lost the sub. Nightbot, no. Can't bonk anymore. No. You want me to do it? Well, do you want to? Sure, I don't mind. It's not the voice isn't straining. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, she has names. Have... Oh, that's good too. Uh, our n names. Um, we're Weepy's lawyers, and um. I see. A and who might you? D Vasquez, the producer. D Vasquez, she's quite beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Fuzzy Red Hat I can take her. gifted a tier one sub to Nightbot. In a fight, they right? They have given six gift subs in the channel. It, Miles. In a fight, right? <laughs> Miles. Fuzzy Red Hamster, thanks so much for gifting a sub to Nightbot. <laughs> Poor Nightbot. Yeah. Whoa. The glass is frosted. Can't see outside. This far into October, the dimming daylight makes it feel like winter's coming. It looks like they were designing a set to use for the Steel Samurai show. They've got some figures for how much the set I costs. Not take her. <laughs> this is where they had that meeting. There are documents and papers, cups scattered around. An old movie poster, Dynamite Samurai, starring Jack Hammer. I guess Mr. Hammer used to be quite the star. Samurai Samurai, starring Jack Hammer. This poster is quite old. <gasps> wow! It's been years since I saw that show. It was one of those typical summer romance stories, but it was great. A typical summer romance with a samurai and a horse? What? Another old movie poster, The Singing Samurai, starring Jack Hammer. What the hell does samurai sing about? Chopping off heads? Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? <laughs> what do you mean a romance between a samurai and the horse? Oh, no. Horse cock. Oh, horse my cock. God, that movie was the best! It's about a samurai who sings his way to fame and fortune. Mr. Hammer was a very accomplished singer, you know. Singing samurai stars, what's next? Ninja ballot? <laughs> no, it's just Naruto. Oh, okay. Nothing in here? That could be a clue. Just oh, some paper hey, cups yo, is that about to do? I'm trying. I'm choking it. Wait. Hold on. Stop that, Nick. Stop. That's very sensual. <laughs> Nick, stop. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if you could tell me about the day of the murder. M Mrs. Vizquez? Script. Uh, excuse me? Script. I'm looking for a script. Uh, a script? The Steel Samurai, episode 13. I need it. Uh, could we ask you a bit about the day of the murder? I need to read it. We're getting nowhere fast. <laughs> um, but we'd really like to ask you about the Steel Samurai. Ms. Vasquez. It's on TV every week. That's all I have to say about that. Thanks, ma'am. I guess. N Nick, she's telling us to go watch TV? The nerve of her! Hey, don't get mad at me. About the director, Salmonella, was it? What are exactly is his role here? Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. I'm looking for a script. I can't be bothered with anything else. Okay, I know what you want. Nick, are all people in the entertainment business this weird? It's starting to look like it. Nick, let's get out of here! Isn't there someplace else we have to check? Uh, yeah. Wait. Y yes if you see Manella, give him this. Why would- why- why do we have to do your errands? <laughs> I- I don't think I like her. Don't cry, she'll take it as a sign of weakness. Alright, I'll give it to him if we see him. The name- Oh the my god. Reads, bring me the script for episode. Here. I'll present you. The documents. Oh, okay. I'm not interested. <laughs> okay. Fuck off, I'm smoking weed. 
Ah, uh, fuck off. I'm so high. I'm so fucking zoinked out of my gourd right now. <laughs> she smells fear. Uh, no, I fucking just came from there. God damn it. Oh my god. Do moving, uh, moving is so hard. Yeah. Yeah, I got this from the producer. Huh? Write me the script from episode 13? Episode 13. Where did I put that one? Oh, I must have left it somewhere. Oh. Uh oh. My ass is pwned if I don't find it. Oh. Uh huh. Ass is pounded, huh? Jesus Christ. I'm gonna get pegged. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> The worst. The Mr. Worst. Lawyer, I'm gonna get pegged. You gotta help me. <laughs> I'm gonna get pegged. Hold on, I'm trying to eat my last, my last crap. You don't understand. Deep Vasquez will peg me. Help. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, it might be quicker to just look in all the places where he's likely to have been. What? Um. <laughs> What do you mean? We gotta look for the script? No! Oh my god. What? Th that's nice. There was twice as much here before. Ah, uh, yeah. I ate them. They were past their expiration date anyway. Ruffle. Oh, good. Good for you, dude. Okay. Where could he have hidden that fucking script? Oh my god. It's <gasps> Austin. Blah, blah, blah. My god. Oh no. Where did he put this? Ugh. Ugh. Where was he? What do you mean, where was he? That's what Phoenix said. Well, we better start, start searching where he was. Or something like that. Yeah, I know, but, like, I don't know where he was. Maybe in the... Maybe Existential in... lawyer crisis. That's every lawyer in this game. Has he checked in the hole? <gasps> oh my god. Not the hole. Have you checked your butthole? Skip up, but up, butthole! Hmm. We're back at the scene of the crime. Let's find what we need and get out of here, Nick. Oh, that's what they meant. Okay. Hey, look! Okay, I always wanted to sit in one of these. Uh, nope. Oh, there it is. Oh my god, I thought it was... It was repeat. Found it, Nick! The script! Good work. Yay! Now we can go back. I, I genuinely thought it was just a repeat. God, I'm an idiot. Uh, Outside Studio 2, let's go. <laughs> slide? <laughs> oh wait, I didn't need to slide. Here. Here's your script, ma'am. Here, we found it. Your script. Uh. Um, uh. You're not going to talk to us? Quiet. I'm reading. Just you hold on! What's the big idea? Who do you think you are anyway? And and do you even know who we are? Powers lawyers? Um right. Am I a suspect? N no, it's not. It's just well no, but You wanted to know about the day of the murder. Y yes, anything you could tell us would be big help. You know there was a meeting here at noon. 
Yes, the director and the people from the network. Correct. Now listen closely. None of the people in this trailer that afternoon went to Studio One. It was impossible for us to leave. Impossible? Why? The path was blocked. The, the, the <laughs> path? Okay. Well then, who the fuck is this, ma'am? Okay. What? That what the fuck do you mean? Well, do we have to go? Oh my god. This. Does she have any more talk prompts? What? Oh fucking! I didn't check if she had talk prompts. You're right. <clears throat> oh wait, I didn't have to do that. God damn. I'm I hate this menuing. Yeah, it sucks. On the day of the murder, the path that leads here was blocked. You saw Mr. Monkey on the way here, correct? M Mr. Monkey. The monkey with the broken head. Guess doesn't look like a monkey. Oh right, that. What an original name. His head fell over in the wind the day of the murder. I didn't start moving the head out of the way until after three. It was after four by the time the path was unblocked. Ish. Everyone in this trailer was stuck here until that path was cleared. Stuck in this trailer. Stuck until after four. Hammer died at 2.30. Thus, none of us could have gone to Studio One. What? what It's true. The crane came just after three to move the head. We called some people in to clear the way. I'm sure they corroborate my story. But but wait! What if the head fell over after 2.30? Then you could have gone to Studio One. 2.30, the time of death. Very well. Come. Oh, whoops. That was uh, not correct. It's... <laughs> That was also the wrong fucking screen that it showed. It showed my fucking, uh, my 14 Discord. <laughs> <laughs> no, not the 14 Discord. How will you now? Now you guys know I'm looking at ultimate parties. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hold on. Let me fix the cum button. It's on the wrong screen. There Come on, go. chat. Come. <laughs> Ah, <coughs> oh, there we go. Oh my god, snizzle. That's Mr. Monkey. When it wasn't broken, it announced the time in ooks. One ook per hour. Ook, 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 ook. Always with the ooking. Um... It is a monkey after all. Why? Why does every single thing? Why is everything a clock? I don't know. Check its head. The clock inside stopped when it broke. Nick, it stopped at two fifteen. Two fifteen. That's right. This path was blocked from two fifteen till after four. Yeah, but then who was the person at two? What the fuck? But that could still have been someone else. So confusing. Therefore, we're innocent. Mr. Hammer died in Studio One at 2.30. Me? I die. Huh. What do we do, Nick? There isn't anyone besides Weepy who could have killed Hammer. It's over. We're finished. That sure doesn't look good. Guess we should head back to the office and plan our strategy. <sighs> well, this is bad. Well, time to go back home. Now what? We're fresh out of clues. Everyone's alibi is watertight. We don't have any promising leads. Things are looking pretty grim. It's a little early for giving up, don't you think? Huh? 
You've got one lead. Oh, not again! Get out of here, Mia! Oops. M Mia, it's you! What took you so long? Sorry, Phoenix. Maya has trouble recalling me unless she's really in trouble. R right Oh, wait. I guess that means we're really in trouble. I'd say so. What did you mean we have one lead? The boy, of course. Yeah, I saw him. He saw everything. W what but, but no way am I telling you, losers. I don't know. He didn't sound like he was going to help us at all. I'm sure you can find some way of bringing him over to your side. Either way, we should go back to the studios. That boy is our last hope, Phoenix. Th thanks. Now I'm more worried than I was before. I don't like that you can just fucking exist! I don't like that! Also, why are your titties in full fucking display, ma'am? Where her brain cells are. Well, because she's dead, that's why! My poor plant, it looks so... so sluggish. Have you been watering it properly, Phoenix? Um, well, Maya has actually... I think maybe she's giving it too much. Oh, Maya. Sorry, Charlie. The plant's name is Charlie? Charlie is the best character. Mia, what's the name of this movie? That movie? Oh. I'd sure like to see that one again. It's, um, what was it again? S sorry, it's right on the top of my tongue. Let me guess, it's a suspense thriller. <laughs> Good joke, Phoenix. So what's the best thing to do from here? We need to, we need to go to the studio and talk to that boy. So do you have any ideas about who might have done this? We don't have enough information to make a case yet. I ever heard that phrase before, so that's where Maya got it from. Okay. All right. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Help me. What's wrong? <laughs> Whippersnapper. He's been chasing that boy this whole time. When... When I... When I catch him, I'll... Ugh. Sounds like she hasn't had any luck catching him. Oh, I got a hostage now, Whippersnapper. Hostage? Oh, whoops. Um, what happened to the boy? If, if I see him again, I'll... Ugh. Lay him flat. Oh. Uh, um. My, what a violent old lady. Actually, I met with the director just now. Eh? Oh, my heart. Eh, it feels so good. <laughs> Is she okay? Before I go, I'd like to visit the place where old Hammer died. Right. She was saying she wanted to visit the studio where he died. What's this about a hostage? Uh, when that boy was running away, he dropped this and ran. He will come back for this one. It's kind of hard to understand him with all that huffing and puffing. Phoenix, that hostage might be what we need. Co Cody might talk to us if we give him that. Good idea. Miss Oldbag, might I? No. I'm catching that bird if it's the last thing I do. Phoenix, do you have anything you might trade with her? I wonder. What can I trade? Do you Water. want sleeping pills? <laughs> no, that's that seems like. Uh... Oh, right. Mrs. Oldbag, I'm borrowing this just so you know. Oh. Okay. Just, just be sure to give it back. She's not as demanding, but she's. Wait, can I not trade that back? Uh. Oh god. He's dying. Do you want the spear? Oh god. Here, do you want my badge? <laughs> uh, what about this keycard? Hey. 
That... Uh, that's a card. Studio One? Right, a card key to Studio One. Uh, I, I could visit poor Hammer. I'd like to visit. He died. Uh, I was his fan. Aww. <laughs> you don't have your own card, Mrs. Oldback? Studio One isn't my turf. You, you let me borrow. Borrow it then. If I give her the card, I'll be able to get into Studio One. Well, I could... I can lend her the card. Why don't you let her... Why don't you let her borrow it, Phoenix? I guess it can't hurt her. Here you go, Mrs. Oldbag. Listen to me, Sunny. I don't like hacking depths to know whippersnappers. You take this, said we're even. Deal? What's this? A still samurai trading card. That sneaky kid dropped it. I figure it's pretty important to him, though. Thank you. I may have a use for this. This must be the hostage she was talking about. Yay! Right. I'm off. There she goes, hobbling off towards the studio. Hmm. Is he back at the How employer? Much... How much oh. can you sell that for? Hey! Hey, you! Well, wait a sec! Phoenix, was that the boy? Y yeah, his name is Cody Hackins. I think he ran into the dressing room. Oh, God. Oh, that's... not... Let's go in and... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Is the fucking dude in there? Oh, my God. He should have been in here somewhere. Found you! Damn it! He's getting away! Come back! There, he's back. What? How did she- <laughs> Hey there, would you mind helping us out? Please? I'm, I'm Cody! Hello Cody, I'm Mia, Mia Fey. Nice to meet you. Yo! And I'm Phoenix Wright. Who asked? <laughs> Mommy energy. Phoenix, you can take it from here. I'm not so sure I'm qualified. The Steel Samurai is so cool. I think he's the um the bomb. Ha! What would a labor like you know about the Steel Samurai? Hey, watch that attitude. Phoenix, you really shouldn't yell like that. He's only a kid. Yeah, don't yell at kids. I'm only a kid. So do you know anything about what happened here? Could you tell me, please? I don't know nothing. Looks like a little persuasion sister, maybe a bribe? Mm -hmm. Hey, I got something for you, kiddo! Cody, this looks familiar? Uh, hey, my... my you are! You are, huh? You are! You know, ultra rare? That card's really hard to get! Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb! I'll give you this if you help me. But that's my card! By offering me something I already owe and you're in effect... Uh, eschewing the very basis of our consumer society and <laughs> the principle of fair trade! Man, these kids are woke. Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb. But what do they teach these kids in school these days? Quantum physics? Whatever, I don't need that card. Huh? I got a double. Just keep it. It's yours. What? After I went for all that trouble. If you want to trade me, find me a really rare card. Really rare? Ultra rare premium cards are way rarer than ultra rare cards. Come on. I mean, for growing up, you sure are dumb. Premium rare. Why do I feel like we're talking about stakes? Ugh. Where the fuck? What? Oh my god. Uh, I guess we gotta find another card. Now, Phoenix, it's not polite to look through other people's belongings. Hey, don't look at me. Tell that to your sister. I'm glad Maya isn't here to see this. She'd be devastated. Sorry, what was that about Maya? Uh, oh, nothing. <laughs> oh. There's an area of cosmetics here. You don't know Samurai Boogie Woogie. You even lamer than I thought. Why does everybody but me know about this kid, about this show? God. What the fuck is happening? Uh. Hmm. Oh, it's so normal. Look at this! Spaghetti in a soda can? Sp spaghetti 
Wouldn't just the sauce come out and the noodle all stay stuck inside? Best one slammed. I guess they want you to drink it in, uh, in one gulp? Slamming spaghetti! Right. I just put it in your pocket. The secret spaghetti. Mm, okay. I don't know about these. I mean, what's the point? It makes it a lot easier to go up hills. Ever have I heard that line before? They're the same person. Okay, move. Hmm. My god, where can we go? Oh god. Hey, buddy, what about you? I guess Mr. Powers is in questioning. Oh well, let's try again another day, Phoenix. Well, what do you have to say, dude? This guy monitors the visitor's room. Okay, awesome. Yay! Let's see what we can find, yeah? I see. There's a clock and a speaker in the monkey's head. And we usually tell the time by ooking. The clock is stopped at 2.15 now. And we want to take a break, but we have work to do. So it's kind of sad to see so many empty benches. Kind of like if you threw a party and nobody came. Okay! Relatable. What? Welcome. I wonder if the murderer will make this place famous too. Welcome. Welcome. A light van for moving staff and equipment around. They've kept it in pretty good shape. Looks like it run fine. There's nothing left on the plates. And incinerator apparently just put this one in. Okay. Probably because it's probably... Though it doesn't look anything like a studio. They probably have a proper name, but it's not for me to know. Not now, nor ever will the end of my days. I need a vacation. <laughs> The trailer looks like it's been here for a while. Okay. They were sitting here for quite some time, so it'll be a junkyard. We could probably just walk right in. Yes, we can! Let's go. Oh, hi. Hello, what brings you here? Oh, well, uh, I had to arrange some stuff. Um. Yes? The, um, girl with you. Doesn't she seem a little different? Like, is she even the same person as before? Uh, nope. She's the same as always. Same as always. Uh, okay, whatever you say. Have you seen that boy since then? Nope. You missed it, though. The security lady was chasing around after that boy so fast I thought she'd collapse. Of course he got away with it in the end. Boy, was she mad. Actually, we saw them. How's the old windbag doing? She was squeezing donuts through her clenched fist back at the guard station. <laughs> Some people take their jobs a little too seriously. Are all the posters on the wall here of Mr. Hammer? Yes, it's really a terrible loss for the studios. But his popularity had been uh, waiting recently, right? That's true. Then again, after what happened... After what happened? Y you mean you don't know about Hammer? No. I I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. What happened? Wait, now that you have, to, you have to tell me. What happened with the hammer? I, I'm sorry. I'm probably not the one who should tell you. Uh-oh, why do I get a feeling something's being covered up here? Oh, no! Uh, ba -ba -ba. This is one of Maya's favorite movies. Maybe we should have replaced the poster in the office with this one? That would be kind of sad. <laughs> what the hell does Sarah sing about? It's a samurai musical that's set in ancient Japan. A samurai musical? Is that even a genre? Well, I'm impressed. You know your stuff, Mia. Oh, Maya's a real fan. I just picked a little up. Damn it! Where the fuck do we find this ultra rare card? Oh no. Great! There's nothing here. I assume I missed a prompt somewhere, didn't I? Want to check?
I could maybe try giving the, the cards to the girl. Maybe? Hey, that's a Steel Sim retreating card. I collect those, actually. Oh, fuck yeah. I'm one card away from a complete set. A complete set? Yeah, set one of each card. Huh? Wait, 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 wait. That's it. That's the card I need. You don't know how long I've been looking for it. Uh... I don't care what kind of girl you might think I am. I need that card. P please, I beg you. Please trade with me. T trade with you? Yes, trade cards. Look, I'll even trade you an ultra rare premium card. Trade me a... Huh? Yes, it's a good deal for your ultra rare. Please. Phoenix, can't you see she's desperate? What's everybody getting so excited about? Fine, I'll trade! Okay. Really? The thanks? Then this is for you! Awesome. Yahoo! And there she goes. Doesn't Yahoo. doing good things like that make you feel great? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Damn. Guess that was it, huh? Awesome. Time to go. No, no. Oh my god, I'm going to fucking go insane, Viz. Oh my god, I'm yep. going to go insane. The old school games. <sighs> I'm so bad at Love this. Love your navigation system. Oh, here. No, no, no. Present. Here you go. Here you go. See this card? Yes. Wait, that's it. That's the old. That's the last soldier of a premium card I need. Come on, give it to me, please. You gotta give it to me. I've never seen him so eager. Uh, right, okay. How about a trade? You're on! I'll give you a samurai spear and throw in an evil magistrate to boot. No, uh, no, 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 no. Not that kind of trade. I don't want cards. I want information. Huh? You sure? Fine by me. Here we give. Okay. Okay, Phoenix. Let's hear what he has to say. If he knows something that could help us, we can have him take the stand tomorrow. Nice. So you like the steel samurai? He's so cool! I I guess. You're judging him by his looks. You have to look at his actions at his life. I'm being I'm being lectured on life by a grade schooler. You like him too, don't you? Uh oh, me? Y yeah. I am I love the steel samurai. So tell me what your favorite thing about the steel samurai is. His fighting skills. Got to think of something. I like it when he uh he vanquishes his foes. Yeah! The steel samurai always wins, always! Check this out, it's my fan album! Oh, what the? It's all pictures of the Steel Samurai. I get to end my life performance! The stupid publicity stunts where they beat each other up in public? I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow. Wazam! I got them all. I never missed one. A perfect collection. Check it out, my new digital camera. Wow, that's very impressive. The newest model, isn't it? You bet, lady! I just got it for my birthday. My album has a name. When I hear it, the Steel Samurai Path to Glory. The Steel Samurai always wins. Always! Hey, if you want this, you can have it, lady. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, I took these with a digital camera. I got all the data at home, so I can always make another one. Well, then I'm happy to accept. Thank you. Oh. What's with people always giving stuff to Mia? What a life. You were here on the day of the incident, right? Yeah. Did you see anything unusual? Cody? Cody, he needs to know because he's fighting for justice. Isn't that the Steel Samurai's motto? For great justice? You have to help us fight for great justice, too. I... I saw... I saw everything. Well, well, he might get some useful information out of him yet. Cody, I need to ask you something very important. What did you see on the day of the incident? I got here that day around two. I had to come in through the woods out back so that old lady wouldn't see me. I got kind of lost, though. I was in there for maybe a half hour or so. Then I finally got to the studio. After that... What is it, Cody? The, the steel samurai killed the bad guy! He used the samurai spear, just like always. One shot, one kill. It happened so fast I got scared. I went home out after that. I, I see. I must have been hard for you. Man, you see those nice things, but it's so obvious you weren't speaking from the heart. Um, right. Mia? Yes? I think we can say for sure this means the Steel Samurai did it. True enough. And the director has an alibi, so it wasn't him. So the only person left who it could have been is Will Powers. 
I have to admit, it's kind of a shock. But if you put this boy uh, on the witness stand, your client will be guilty for sure. Let's uh, call him in then. I think that would be wise. Best to leave this one alone. Not so fast, pal! I heard everything! This boy here is a key witness, and he's under police protection starting now. Come on, son! You've got to run over with me down at the precedence. Press precinct. Precinct. That. No, I ain't going. Wah! That didn't go so well. We're back to zero leads. And now we have a serious handicap in court. W what are we going to do, Mia? Well, I really need to be going. Don't worry, Phoenix. I'm sure you'll be fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa! C come to the trial tomorrow, please. I need you there. Phoenix, can I ask you something? Do you really believe that Mr. Powers is innocent? I believe. Of course he is. That's all I wanted to hear. Excellent. I'll see you in court then. Great. Thanks, Mia. See you soon. Oh. Now is court time. Let's Man. go, baby. Hell yeah, let's go. Time to make a fool out of myself in another trial. But I get to see Edgeworth again, so that makes me happy. <laughs> um, Mr. Wright? Yes? Why do you look so unhappy? Uh, oh, oh, nothing. <laughs> really, it's nothing. Right, Mia? Uh oh, she looks even unhappier. Phoenix, your client is now practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him. This is no time for dead people jokes, please. You know we're going into this trial utterly defenseless. Yet if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. The fucking sleeping pills! We have to find something, Phoenix, today. It's that or lose the trial. This isn't going to be easy. Yes, it is. We have the sleeping pills. All right, Mr. Edgeworth. Let's go. Oh my god, my fucking chair is falling. Ah, god. The Fox Globe gifted a tier one sub to Nico. They have given Nicob. 20 gift subs in the channel. Yo, thanks for gifting a sub to Nico. Hi, Nico. How's it going? Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Sorry. <laughs> the defense is ready, Your Honor. <laughs> My God. Just, just grab them both like two Barbie dolls and smash them together. <laughs> yeah. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday, we learned that there were other people present at the studios. Today, I would like to show evidence proving they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. I wonder if it'll be that producer. The prosecution calls Mr. Salmonella to the stand. Oh, or that director. <sighs> Alright. Will the witness state his name and profession? How rude can you get? You don't know me? I'm the director! I make the steel samurai noob, Ruffle! <laughs> <laughs> Salmonella. I'm a director. Television. Were you at Global Studios on the day of the murder? Yes, Your Honor. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the court about the events of the day. Phoenix, let's start by picking this testimony apart. If Powers is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in the trailer on that day did it. R right. She doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. I was at the studios from around 9 that morning. During the morning, I was doing, um, an action scene run-through. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. 
I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area. But I had a meeting in the Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. We were in the meeting until around 4. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's about it. If... If nobody left their chairs, how did they know that they were stuck in there? That doesn't make any sense. Nor how did they call the tra- Okay. The time of Mr. Hammer's death was 2.30pm, and according to your testimony, you were in a meeting at that time. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. I was at a studio from around 9 that morning. I'm just gonna start pressing shit. Is that when you always come into work? Oh, oh no. I come in all sorts of hours. It's the industry way. Yeah, and all about the freaks in your industry. Rude. Well, FWIW, I was pretty busy all that day. Brownie face. Tell us more about that. I'm just gonna question all of it. In the employee area. That's right. There was a fight scene between the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate. Was anyone else at the run-through? Oh uh, yeah, that security lady was sitting there watching the whole thing. LOL. She was cheering on Hammer, if you can believe it. She certainly has the lungs for it. Anyone else? No, just us four. Why did it go on so long? Um, I'm pretty sure you've already heard about this. But WP twisted his ankle during the run-through, see? Oh right, that's uh, thus the limp. Which, of course, le led to me missing my lunch. <laughs> Rofs? Rofs. <laughs> Rofs. Rofs, rolling on the floor is starving? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Phoenix, you're learning! <laughs> What exactly did they have for lunch? Uh, T-Bone steak. The assistant cooks them up. Come to think of it, there was a plate with some bones on it in the employee area. Everyone else meaning that the witness did not eat with them. So in the end, you didn't get to eat. Yeah, no steak at least. Can you believe it? That must have been tough. Phoenix. Y yeah Doesn't something about that seem odd to you? Actually, there is something bothering me. Mr. Manila, just now you said steak at least. So you ate something other than steak? Yeah, good call. I had some chocolate in my pocket, which I used to save off starvation. I see. Oh, yeah, it's probably contradictory. Uh, yeah. What were you discussing? Uh, the Steel Samurai story in our budget. Get this, the sponsors turn to me and say, Mr. Manella, those scripts of yours are not appropriate for children. Can you believe it? Actually, I kind of can. So nobody left the table during the whole meeting. I know I'm questioning everything, but I'm just making sure. You didn't take a single break. Ah, oh, well... Yeah, not a one. Ugh. Hmm. What's he sweating so much about, I wonder? If only I had an idea. I'll wait for one to come up and hit him with it. Phoenix, if his alibi holds powers is finished, press him as hard as you can and find out where he's lying. R right. Yeah, okay. Okay, wait, there's... Mr. Manella. Uh huh? What do you want? When I went to Studio 2, I saw something on the table there. There were two plates, the same kind of plates as the ones in the employee area. You ate lunch there. Mm -hmm. Oh, or, um, uh, good call. I, I I was embarrassed, so I, I didn't mention it. 
But I did eat, after all. A T-bone steak, you mean? Yeah, well, I mean, the assistant went through all that trouble. I brought it to the trailer, thinking I could eat it later. Clearly a man who likes to eat. I'd suspect as much. So when exactly did you eat it? Uh, we took one break during the meeting. I uh, wolfed it down then. A mental image I will carry with me to my grave. Wait a second. If they took a break in that meeting, that contradicts his testimony. Wait. Okay, what were we discussing? So, blah, 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 blah. There, there it is. You didn't take a single break. Um, well... Yeah, another one. Oh, wait. Wait a second. Maybe I do have an idea. Wait a second. This is Manila. You just contradicted yourself. Didn't you just tell the court that you ate that T-bone steak during a break? Oops. Ruffles. Well? Um... Mr. Manila, what's this all about? Well, yeah, I guess we did take a little break. Phoenix, great job! If they took a break, one of them could have gone to the studio during the time. Your Honor, I call on the witness to testify to the court about this break. Very well. Mr. Manila, your testimony, please. Ugh. <laughs> Uh-oh, uh Edgeriff is laughing. What does this mean? I cannot believe this. <laughs> what? Yeah, FWIW, we took a break. Brawl. But it was only 15 minutes. 15. That's only 13 and base 12. Not enough time for someone to say, commit murder in Studio One. LOL. That's only enough time to eat T-bone steak, if you ask me. <laughs> I don't think it would even be enough time for that, but that's just me. Farewell, you may begin the cross-examination. We took a break, careful, but it was only 50 minutes. Wait. What? What were you doing for those 50 minutes? Eating my T-bone steak, what else? There were two plates on that table. All oh, right, the other one was Diva's. Sorry, D Vasquez plate. D Vasquez, the producer. To eat a T-bone steak in fifty minutes—that's quite a feat. Why is that? I have to say, you look like a guy who gets through his meals pretty fast. Wow, that's kind of mean. That's... That's... That's kind of mean. <laughs> Alright, Phoenix, calm down. <laughs> Jesus well, Christ! I was, Jesus. Well, I was facing a cold, slightly chewy T-bone steak. You and I have to take my time eating that kind of food. LOL. Well, Phoenix, the testimony was too short to bring any kind of useful information out of. All you have to do is prove that he was able to go to the Studio One in that time. Oh, great. Is that all? <sighs> I guess I'm gonna just have to go for it. Your Honor? No, 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 it doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> it's, whoops. I should probably save. Hold on. I was like, what does this show? Hold on. I should, yeah, I should probably save. Hold on. Your honor, monkey. All right. Yeah, eating the T-bone steak. Wait, all right. We already did this. I'm stupid. Oh my god. What time exactly to take this break? Um, I'd say it was from around 2.30 or so until 2.45. 2.30? 2 
That's the time of the death. So he could have gone to Studio One, killed Hammer, and come back. I guess it's possible, time-wise. Hold on. Well, I... Wait, no. 2.30. Uh, I'm probably gonna do this wrong. The witness's statement is clearly faulty, Your Honor. I'm sorry, but I can see nothing faulty. What? Huh? Can I not? On the recur. I. Is it on. No! Edgeworth! Stop! I'm trying to figure this out, you asshole! <laughs> Damn it! Haven't we heard enough of this pointless line of question? Your Honor. The testimony to this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. The people in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. It was impossible for any of them to go to Studio One. What? Something wrong, Mr. Wright? Surely you aren't suggesting one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One. Huh, well, Mr. Wright? Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. Oh. Well, I'm gonna claim it. If I agree to let everyone in that trailer off the hook, then the trial is over. Mr. Powers will be found guilty for sure. The victim was murdered at 2.30, the exact time of the break in the next meeting. With 50 minutes, murder is certainly a possibility. I suppose you might say that. All right, I've got the judge thinking now. Never a dull moment with you, Mr. Wright. What's your point, Edgeworth? You've been doing your homework, haven't you? Look at the court record. The court record? Surely you knew that from 2.15 to 4, the path between the studios was blocked. Mrs. Monkey's head had fallen across the path. Gah! You're right. True. Ed. What? <laughs> I was looking at that. Yeah. Should I use the ad permitted term gay ass? <laughs> True. The break in the trailer meeting came right at the time of death. However, the path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. The fallen Mrs. Monkey head bared the way. It's actually Mr. Monkey, but Edgeworth has a point. And somehow I feel no desire to correct him. No counter-argument, Mr. Wright. Then I'm afraid you lose- uh, Oh no. I believe we have seen enough evidence. I would like to relieve Mr. Manella from the stand. What? It's over? Oh, I fucked up, huh? Very well! The court's opinion on uh, this case is as follows. We have found that there were several other people in Studio 2 on the day of the murder. However, it is also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio 1. They therefore have no relation to this case. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the Steel Samurai, given the size of the costume, no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. All that is lacking is decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor. The prosecution is pleased to announce that we indeed have a decisive evidence, a witness. Who is this witness, Mr. Edgeworth? My witness saw the very moment when the Steel Samurai screwed the victim. 
No, the kid. Order! I will have order! I see. The court will take a ten- the, the court will take a ten minutes to recess. After which we will hear your witness. Court is adjourned for recess. The fucking child. Oh no. A child. No. What do we do now, Mia? If everyone in that trial has an alibi. I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. M Mia! Don't tell me you're giving up. If you're giving up, what hope do I have? Don't get me wrong. I've never given up on a trial before. Now that while well, there was a chance, only one thing become, became clear in your cross-examination. The people in the trailer could not have gone to Studio One. I thought there was one was more to it than that, but I was wrong. That's all there is. Um, uh, what's going to happen to me? It kind of seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. They think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you're innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee it. Leave it to us and be yourself. Be strong. You are the Steel Samurai, hero to children everywhere, after all. I... you... Thanks! <laughs> okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. Let's do it! Oh, God. Edgeriff, I'm going to shoot you! Court is back in session for the trial of Mr. Willpowers. The prosecution has a concern. As our witness is a great schooler of tender years, and this is a murder case, we worry that the offense might cause unnecessary trauma with this cruel questioning. Nice to see Edward take the moral high ground. However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Cody Hackens to the stand. <laughs> Your Honor, perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand on. Oh, uh, r right. Guards, please bring him a box. One of those donut crates should do. Oh. <laughs> Will the witness st uh, state his name in grade and school? Witness. What? Just because you're all going up don't mean you can push me around. <laughs> Cody? Answer his question, okay? Hey, it's you, the nice lady. I'm Cody Hackins. I'm in the second grade. I get the feeling this is going to be a long, long day. I Mr. Like Edgeworth. The gag of Edgeworth not getting his witness's name is true. <laughs> Please remember that you are speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. Uh, witness! I, uh, mean Cody. He's having trouble with this gentle thing. You were present at- you were at Global Stu Studios on the day of the, uh, incident? You got a problem with that? Please tell us what you saw that day. What, Pops? Want me to tell you that uh, tell you and Gramps with the beard over there? Just... Mr. Edwards, beard gentleman. Oh, that's fine, A very long day. Incidentally, photographic equipment is strictly forbidden in this courtroom. Yes. I apologize, Your Honor. He said he wouldn't testify if he couldn't bring it. I'd like a special mission if that's possible. Wait, so you're saying you had to bargain terms with a kid and you lost? Hey, I just got this new camera. Don't really know how to use it all that good yet. But I bring it with me wherever I go. Phoenix, I wonder if you had that camera on the day of the murder. You better make note of it in the court record. Very well, Cody. Please testify to the court about what you saw the day of the incident. I wanted to see a steel samurai rehearsal just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studio that day. I went for the woods off the path so that old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going for the studio. I got kind of lost on the way through for about, uh, though, for about 30 minutes. When I came out by the studio, there was a steel samurai. I to it totally rocked. Right before my eyes, out came the bad guy. Of course, the steel samurai took him now. Pow! If I had my camera with me, that would have been the time for a shot, I tell you. Anyway, I couldn't get into the studio, so I went home. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. Be gentle. Remember, you're talking to a child. This kid is tougher than most adults we see in here, honestly. God. I wanted to see a Steel Samurai rehearsal just once. You really like the Steel Samurai, huh? Of course I do! I've taped every show, and I go to all the live performances. That's impressive. Have you been to the amusement park? Of course, duh! My dad always takes me. Poor, poor dad. I found a map on the internet. Was the day 
Was that there the first time you'd been to the studio? Uh, actually, I've been a couple of times. I never managed to get there on a rehearsal day. And that security lady is always yelling. Right, right. Please continue. Chill, Pops. I'm getting to it. Who am I supposed to talk with? Uh, you cutting me off all the time. Jeez. Yeah, Phoenix, what the fuck? And Smurf is not having a good time today. <laughs> <laughs> off the path. Yeah, you know how the studios are in a valley there? If you go off the path a little, there's woods. That's where I was. I see. Anyhow. I was going for the studio. Oh, shit. Oh, God. I was going to press that. You got lost in the woods? Yeah, I couldn't figure out which way I was walking. Man, was I relieved when I saw the blue studio doors. But guess what happened next? The Steel Samurai. Yeah, he was standing by the studio gate. It looked like he was thinking about something before going in. Then he opened up the gate and went inside. I see. What then? Out oh, came the bad guy. What sort of bad guy was it? A guy. A person. Kind of tall. Skinny. Are you sure it was a guy? I don't know. He was kind of far away. Oh, he's being awfully vague. What happened to the bad guy? Huh? Well, well, he didn't. He kind of didn't move, not a bit, like he was dead. I guess he's a real pro. What a great actor! Y yes, I suppose he was. If you had your camera, you mean you weren't carrying your camera then? No, I wasn't. It's not like I have it all the time. Really? I guess seeing the killing uh, freaked him out, and he went home. Phoenix, remember, he's a child. Use gentle words, but be firm. Easy for you to say. I'm just going to the studio. Did nothing unusual happen to your way to the studio? Unusual? Do you see this monkey by any chance? Oh, you mean Mr. Monkey? Yeah, I saw him, but his head wasn't busted. So you went straight to the studio. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Wait. That doesn't make any sense. He reached it at 2.30 and the head wasn't busted. Please be the right one. Wait. My, where, where the fuck do I use it? What? No, I need to, I need to save. Hold on. One more time. I don't know where to use it. Oh, now I'm confused. That's not what I meant. For about 30 minutes. Oh my god, I'm fucking- I'm idiot! I guess this is like the only other thing. Oh, okay, I guess that was it. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking shoot myself. Alright. I'm whatever. Hey.
It just was that simple, huh? I sure did overthink it way too much. <sighs> yeah, that's what happens with Ace Attorney games. They're like, oh yeah, they want you to overthink, and then you overthink it, and it's like right there. Oh my god. Oh, I fucking... Cody, what you just said seems, well, a little strange. Didn't you say before that you always bring your digital camera wherever you go? You were quite clear about that. <gasps> Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? Mr. Wright, a word with you! Uh-oh, was it putting too much pressure? What is this digital camera contraption you're talking about? It's some a digital camera, Your Honor. It's kind of a new sort of camera. How to explain that? Anyway, Cody, I can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera on a trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? Um... Objection! Mr. Wright, how cruel you are to terrorize a poor child so. I don't care if he's a child or a prosecution prosecuting attorney. No one should lie in court. What do you mean, or a prosecuting attorney? Well, Cody? What? Yeah, so I had my camera. So what? You got a problem with that? It's not the box. <laughs> so you did have a camera. And did you use this camera? Why would I use it? I was too busy watching. Very well. Please testify to the court about what you were so busy watching. Yeah, I had my camera with me, but I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off it. The steel samurai, he goes for the bad guy. Wham! Then, then the bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong, the steel samurai rules. Huh. Oh, is that all? Well, that was a brief. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Okay. Okay. Press. So, why didn't you use it? He's getting to that. Relax and listen. Well, I didn't use it because I was too busy watching the real thing. Well, yeah. Yeah, okay. If I can... So you were watching the Steel Samurai. Did you watch the whole fight? Y yeah, of course. You didn't turn away, not even once? N no. Okay, then tell us exactly what happened. Y yeah, I'm getting to that. Okay. The Steel Samurai, he goes for the bad guy and wham. So the bad guy attacked him first? Yeah. What sort of person was this bad guy? I told you, a person. He was a person. How was he dressed? I can't even remember. I was too busy watching the Seal Samurai. I see. And what happened next? Why? Huh? What do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? Well, well, because the Steel Samurai brought him to justice. And how exactly did he do that? How did he do it? With a samurai kick and a samurai punch, samurai chop, samurai slap. Something like that. He's still being vague about this. What? what don't give me that look, Pops. How should I play this? If I press too hard now, the judge might keep me from continuing. Let's still back and see how the rest of this goes. What did you do after the bad guy fell, Cody? Well, obviously, he killed him with a spear, so it doesn't make sense. Um, actually, the fight was so so intense that I got kind of scared, so I went straight home. Something that isn't adding up here. Something about his account doesn't seem right. Because he's being deliberately vague. Press him on this fact, Phoenix. Find out what he saw. Okay, I'm gonna have to fucking... I'm gonna have to fucking save. I don't want to get... in trouble. Okay. I'm gonna just attempt to press harder. Cody? L what? Something's bothering me. Before you said that you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Y yeah So what? Yet you missed the most important part. What is the meaning of this? The witness has stated what he saw quite clearly. You know as well as I do that he's being vague. Tell me what kind of murderer uses a samurai slap. <laughs> My point is this. Cody, you may have seen some of the steel samurais fight. But you missed the most important part, the killing blow. Order, order.
Dear Mr. Wright, how could this be? Can you explain how he might have missed something so vital? Uh, well, that's the thing. Phoenix, I believe you're on with the right track with this. Think, why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? I know you, you can figure this out. Mr. Wright, your answer. We have ascertained that this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Um... Show... Evidence? Evidence. Because of the spear? Or... Uh... Well, either it's the camera or the path because he was trying to use the camera and because he's learning how to use it. Oh my god, I'm so so confused. Um oh, I'm probably going to I'm probably gonna lose here, but we'll see. Oh god! Oh no! Wait. I don't know! Here's my proof! What's that? The camera? The witness say that he recently received this camera. Yes, I'm aware of that. He wasn't entirely familiar with its operation. I'm aware of that too. Ah, correct! Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at, the cr at a critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera. He was trying to take a picture. Hey! Bullseye. L what's your problem, Pops? You got a thing for picking on little kids? Pressing, not picking. Good job, Phoenix. Cody was lying, clearly. Smart of you to realize there was no way he could just stand there watching this hero and not take a picture. Right, Cody? There was only one reason why you would have looked away from the fight, and that was because you wanted to take a picture. But having just received your camera, you weren't use uh, used to using it yet. S so you missed the climax of the fight, correct? Yeah. Well, Phoenix, I bet you anything he's hiding more than that. Have him testify again. R right. Mia yeah, means business. Your Honor, the defense would like to request that Cody Hackens testify once more. B very well. Cody, could you please tell us about your camera? And about why you didn't take a picture of the fight. Welcome to the real world, kid. Oh my god, what the fuck? Nick, what the hell? Yeah, you're right, Pops. This is Samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain. So I held up my camera to take a picture, but the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. Yep, that's all that happened, yep. Huh, anything strange in the testimony? I'm not sure, but I'd like to proceed with the cross-examination anyways. Oh god, we have to press the kid. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Pops. PRESS HIM! <laughs> Pops? Yeah, I called you Pops, you spiky-haired geezer! Geezer? I'm Mr. Edward, and I'm- Yes, I'm the beard the gentleman! <laughs> That's what I hate about grown-ups. You're also self-conscious. Oh, oh, wow, ouch. <laughs> ouch. Okay, off with the kid gloves. Testify, witness, testify. Yipes. The steel samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain, so I held up my camera to take a picture, but the lens wouldn't open it. Oh, fuck, fuck, I've already read this. When the lens opened, what did you see? Uh, well, a person on the ground and the steel samurai. That's all? Y yeah! I told you I didn't take a picture! Hmm. Did he really not take a picture? No, he definitely would've... There's got to be something here I can use. Cody, listen up, Cody Hackens. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture. Uh, hey! How did you know? I see through all your lies, Cody Hackens. It's one of my powers. Oh, wow! This feels great. Oh my god, superhero complex. Yeah, I took a picture. 
Perhaps you can change your testimony to reflect this, Cody. I took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased them. Press! You erased them? Y yeah! Why would you erase a picture of your beloved Steel Samurai Victorious? Well, you know, why would I want to keep a picture like that? Huh, he's becoming less and less cooperative. It better find a clear contradiction soon or some solid evidence. How can I pick holes in such a short testimony? There has to be something. So you did see the beginning of that fight. Yeah. Did you notice anything unusual? Um, well, uh, I guess the Seal Samurai was moving a little strange. Moving strangely? Okay. Why couldn't you take a picture? My new camera has too many buttons, I couldn't figure it out. I tried to take a picture, I really tried. The only thing I can assume is showing off the path to glory. <gasps> Hi, Cope! How's it going? My lawyer, uh, you, you don't want me to be your lawyer? I'm gonna be honest, you don't want me to be your lawyer? Absolutely not! Thank you for the eight months, I hope you're doing well. You don't, you don't want me to be your lawyer? <laughs> Take this! Oh wow, I was right! <laughs> Cody! That's not my press. What? What? Man, every time you say Cody, you follow up with something bad. I just wanted to thank you for giving me this the other day. Huh? Oh, oh right. What was it uh, you told me then? I get to every live performance. I always take a picture when the seal ceremony leads the final blow. Wazam! I got them all. I never miss one. A perfect collection. Cody, did you really get a picture of the Steel Samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe that you would just erase it. Wouldn't you keep it for your album? Ah! Mr. Wright, what exactly is this album? It's called Path to Glory. It's a collection of pictures of the Steel Samurai, all taken by Cody Hackins. He claims it's a perfect collection of every battle the Steel Samurai has won. I, I see. Don't you find this very odd, Your Honor? Among all his pictures of the Steel Samurai, none were taken that day. Order! Mr. Wright, have you any explanation? If the Steel Samurai had just defeated his adversary, I certainly would expect to see a picture of it in this album. Exactly my point, Your Honor. No, wait! No way! Phoenix? I think we finally discovered the truth. And what a truth it is! Mia, are we sure about this? Did he actually? Yes. I'm pretty sure what you're thinking is right. Tell them, Phoenix. Tell them what the truth is. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what is going on here. Why was there no picture in the album from the day of the murder? Steel Samurai didn't win. I can think of only one reason, Your Honor. The Steel Samurai didn't win. That's why Cody deleted those photos. You mean the Steel Samurai lost? Well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth. The bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. No way! No, it's impossible! The Steel Samurai never loses! He never loses to anyone, ever! Your Honor, the witness has revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us he didn't take a picture. The same reason he erased his precious photos. For Cody, it was an inconceivable that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Steel Samurai lose. Yet to admit what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said the Steel Samurai won. He couldn't handle the truth! Order! I will have order! W witness! I mean, Cody, is this true? What did you see? Tell the court what you saw. I...
Oh god. Cody, that day you saw the steel samurai lose a fight, right? Ah, okay, okay. You're right. The, the steel samurai fell down, but he didn't move. Ah! Order! Order! What kind of stunt are you trying to pull right? The steel samurai was the murderer, not the victim. Yet according to your witness's testimony, the steel samurai was the one who fell. Mr. Wright, what's going on? Apparently we have all made a serious error. A an error? What's this all about? Wait, what? Samurai was the victim? Uh, uh, okay, I'm probably gonna do the wrong thing, but I, I mean, that's like the most obvious thing to say! I want, what do you mean? If you understand what really happens, actually, at the end of the fight, the Steel Samurai fell to the ground and lay still. In other words, the Steel Samurai was not the killer, he was the victim. Don't you see? Jack Hammer was the Steel Samurai. Order, order, order! So the Steel Samurai in this photograph, you're saying the man in this costume was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jack Hammer was present at the action scene run through that morning. Thus, he obviously knew about Will Power's foot injury. B but wait! Hadn't Mr. Hammer gone to Studio One already? That's what everyone thought. But remember what Mrs. Mrs. Oldbag said in her testimony. On the day of... Oh, wait, that's... that's Miz. <laughs> On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Did I see Paul or Hammer? Nope. And he had already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee af af after lunch. However, no one saw him going to Studio One. Nor was there a picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his dressing room. Then he snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. But why would the victim do such a thing? I don't know. I get it. I thought that the Steel Samurai was moving strange. So it was a different person inside the suit. Pops? Huh, me what? Actually, there was one piece of data I saved. Data? Yeah, a photo of my digital camera. W what? Show us, quick. No way, man, not if you're gonna look at me like that. Now. Here, this is it. Well, looking at this, it's still a little hard to say. I'm afraid that it could be anyone in that costume. Your opinion, Mr. Wright? I agree, Your Honor. This isn't decisive evidence. I'm sorry, this doesn't look like it's proof we need. I'll give it back. Wait, Phoenix. Mia? Yeah? What? Look at that photo once more. That's it, Phoenix. That photo is all the evidence you need to win this trial. B what? Y your Honor. May I see that photo once more, please? S certainly. Phoenix, show him. There's a glaring decisive inconsistency with the fact that we know them in that photo. Look at this graph. Two, 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 two. Your Honor, look at this. I see a gate. Might I draw your attention to the number on that gate? The number? Ah, yes. Well, it's hard to see, but it looks like a two. Clearly not a one, Your Honor. Correct? Ah! I believe Mr. Andrew sees what I'm getting at. B but that's impossible. Huh? Uh, what's this all about? Please explain that I might be shocked along with the rest of the court! Same judge. Same. I'll use the studio guide map. If the body was found here, in Studio One. However, what do we see in this photo taken at the time of the murder? 
It does not say one on that gate in the photo. Your Honor, here's the true scene of the crime. Right, like, right here in the Studio 2. Here, at Studio 2. Now you see, that would explain the two on the get me photo. Your Honor, I find it very significant that the murder took place in the Studio 2. The path to the trailer was blocked. So we have heard. The path was blocked at 2.15. In other words, the victim went to Studio 2 before that time. Yes, I suppose that would be the case. Remember Mr. Salmonella's testimony. Allow me to remind the court. He said no one in the trailer was guilty because they could not have gone to Studio 1. Yet, in actuality, the reverse was true. Only someone in the trailer could have committed this murder. They were the only ones with access to the scene of the crime, Studio 2. As you may recall, there is a trailer in Studio 2. Now on that day, a meeting was held in that very trailer. There was a break-in break in the meeting room corresponding to the time of death. During that break, Mr. Salmonella and Mrs. D. Vasquez were outside eating steak. They were at the scene of the crime. Uh, order! The defense makes the following claims. The scene of the crime was Studio 2. The person that the security guard Mrs. Oldbeck saw was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, stole a steel samurai costume. Then he went to Studio 2. This is madness! Jack Hammer is the victim. The victim! Why would he steal a steel samurai costume? Are you suggesting he did so to cover up the details of his own murder? But, but no, of course not. Or do you have proof? Give me proof that the victim... I have proof. You do, Mr. Wright? I think I'm right. Okay, here. This. This is it. An empty medicine bottle? I found this on the table in the employee area. The same table where Mr. Hammer and Mr. Powers ate. The label reads sleeping pills. Sleeping pills. The defendant, Mr. Powers, spent the entire afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Mr. Hammer. Wait a moment. That bottle does raise some suspicion, yes. But there is no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. Finger for the bottle. An idea? Very well, let's hear it. I want to check this bottle for fingerprints. If, it might, if my claim is true, Mr. Hammer's fingerprints should show up on this bottle. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Very well, the court will take possession of the bottle. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Cody Hackett's testimony has revealed new possibilities in this case. In fact, in fact, things may have happened very differently than we previously thought. The steel samurai seen by Mrs. Oldbag may have been the victim, Jack Hammer. The scene of the crime was not Studio 1, but Studio 2. And those in the trailer did have time to commit murder. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? Your homework is to find the answer to the following question. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the steel samurai costume? Also, who killed him, and why? Find the answer for me by tomorrow. That's a lot of homework. Mr. Edgeworth, you will need to reconsider your stances in this case. Above all, you will need to uh, reconsider your suspicion of Mrs. Will Powers. As you say, Your Honor. This trial will be extended until tomorrow. This is the last extension. I love that Edgeworth isn't even really trying to mess with us anymore. Very well, court is adjourned. Phew! That was a close one. We were saved by a hair, but that's all that counts. I thought seriously about going home about three times during the trial. M me too! Really? You both seem so, so confident! Um, <laughs> maybe I should take up a career in acting. I was ready to pronounce you dead about three times back there. Me too! D dead <laughs> Of course we're kidding. Are you sure? I wasn't kidding. <laughs> now, Mr. Powers. Thanks, Nick. 
We have to give... We have to make our final investigation. But I promise you, we'll find the true killer by tomorrow's trial. R right! Thanks! Alright. Guys. I have some bad news. Chendo. Chendo no. I'm sorry, guys. It's been four hours. And I really don't want to push my my voice. I really don't want to push my voice, or else I won't be able to stream this for another week, guys. <laughs> if I do shorter sessions with this game, I will be able to do it more. But if I push myself, I will only to do it once, be able to do it once every like fucking five days. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used to doing voice work on like full ass games, guys. <sighs> but <clears throat> if it's any consolation, um, I think we're I'm gonna be streaming again tomorrow. Let me check. I just gotta quickly check what? something. I just need to make sure that I'm not raiding tomorrow. I am raiding tomorrow. <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh, Thursday. Thursday is the next stream. The next Ace Attorney stream. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Those are going to be all Ace Attorney streams. But yeah, for now I'm done. So, uh, I'm going to head off. Ooh, my poor throat. Bitch. Uh, and I hope you guys had a lot of fun because I fucking did. I fucking, I love this. I love this. I love this so much. Oh, it's so, so good. God. Uh, oh, my poor nose. <laughs> So yeah, I will see you guys on Thursday. Bye-bye, all. Yeah.